Hey, hey, what do you say? It is finally episode number 100 here of the Run In Podcast. No more uh, athletes with numbers because they don't go that high. My name is Tommy Paradise. It's showtime, folks. It's your boy DJ. And yeah, episode 100. I didn't think we'd make it. I didn't, I didn't think we'd make, we'd it. make it. I knew it. <laughs> we brought some friends <laughs> along with us for this week's show. Uh, we've got uh, from New York City and a call up podcast. He's part Puerto Rican. He's part black. He's part white. He's part Canadian. He is Kenny. What's up, brother? What's going on? I think the uh, the the voice part of me is white, and everything else is <laughs> black and Puerto Rican. <laughs> Then we've got uh, another brother uh, from uh, the the Old Bay State, Phil Gentile from the Fig K Podcast. Oh, man. What's up, man? Love me some Old Bay. What's going on, boys? It's been too long since we all got together. I yes. know. It's been way too long since we've done uh, one of these. Uh, missing in action is uh, another member of the uh, Bay State cl- or the uh, Old Bay State clan. The Bay State is Massachusetts. Oh. But Old Bay State clan is uh, Zach Egolf. He is uh, disappeared, but we've got all of our inner circle here, including Mike Lanham from uh, south of the border in Kentucky. What's up, brother? South of the border. South of the border. What border? The border is just... I'm just making this this imaginary line, like, in the middle of the U.S. Mason-Dixie, south of the middle. I was going to say, isn't it it still 1865? He's he's down (laughs) below the Mason-Dixie line. Speaking speaking of <laughs> Obey, uh, Sam standing there. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Obey, I bought those uh, goldfish. They're not they're not very good. What? They're great. Mm. Oh, that's probably because you put Old Bay on everything. So Fighting just, words, man. I do. Just used to it. Yeah. I was in Delaware last week and I had uh, Old Bay wings and they were fucking banging. They were so good. The, the chips at the baseball game were okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's true. You could see those uh, on our vlog. That we went uh, when we went to the Major Brothers show, yeah, um, but uh, we are uh, doing a little bit of a different episode here. We are going to do uh, a Halloween or Halloween Havoc. Jesus Christ, Hell in a yeah, Cell. Uh, hey man, I tried to cancel on you guys, and you wouldn't let me. So uh, <laughs> Hell in a like Halloween. C- what happened? Hell in a Cell recap. We'll do in a little bit here. Uh, we will do, uh, and then we'll do some roundtable. Uh, for episode number 100, uh, we got some questions from the Fig Cave or some topics to talk about from the Fig Cave Facebook group. And then uh, we also got some here that we all brought to the table. Well, Mike brought to the table. Um, we'll uh, get to those in a couple seconds. Let's uh, let's pay some bills here real quick. The Fig Cave. Oh, Jesus. I am a mess here. Uh, <laughs> the run in podcast is always brought to you by Figure Collections. Uh, you can hit up shop.figurecollections.com. Use that code ten percent. Grab yourself the brand new uh, Sabu Uncensored uh, by Chella. Uh, by Chella, the blue Hayabusa is up there as well. And Jack told me today that uh, the new Brian Clark's will be coming with a better bubble. He actually sent me a video of the bubble, and it's uh, it's like indestructible. It's not. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hard to open those bad Larrys, but uh, you can grab those up at uh, shop.figurecollections.com. And of course, some uh, announcements coming soon from our friends over at. Uh, figure collections um we're also going to do a big ass giveaway here for uh episode number 100 i've got a goldberg top picks um if you'd rather me just throw that into a fire pit i will gladly do that on video for you um if you win it but we're going to do goldberg top picks we got t-bar elite ray mysterio SummerSlam elite and stone cold steve austin wrestlemania elite we'll give those away all you got to do is retweet this episode follow the call up follow the fig cave and follow wrestling collector shop. All those giveaways are courtesy of uh, F- uh wrestling collector shop. So they, they hook us up every week with uh, some giveaways. And the last thing I want to bring to your attention before we get all into this. And we have a big announcement for you guys. Uh, Patreon.com slash run in pod. You guys are way better at pimping out the p- Patreon than I am. A uh, dollar a month is the lowest tier. I get you access to the fig cave group. Uh, Facebook group on, uh, when, uh, on Facebook, obviously one dollar, um, and then uh, there's other tiers as well that get you some extra. Uh, you get the video version of our episode. You get early content. You get extra content. You get the show notes, all that good stuff. Uh, check it out at Patreon.com/slash Run and Pod. So we do have a big announcement, DJ. Uh, as of this episode, or after this episode, me and DJ are hibernating for a little while this is going to be officially the end of uh season one 
because wrestling should have an off season. Yeah, season. Jeez. Yeah, episodes <laughs> of one season. But uh, we're going to break the show up into seasons going forward. Um, we are going to take the summer off. We'll regroup after SummerSlam or, yeah, after SummerSlam. And then uh, we'll go SummerSlam to WrestleMania going forward. And then we'll take a break after uh, WrestleMania because wrestling should have an off season. We're going to have an off season. Um, and as you guys have noticed the last few weeks, months, uh, real life is just getting in the way here a little bit for both of us mm. between cars breaking down, kids playing sports. Um, it's just, uh, it's tough to, uh, commit to this, uh, every single week. We'll still be throwing stuff out there, uh, on the Patreon and, uh, in the feed here and there, we'll do maybe some greatest hits. Um, we'll do some, or best of episodes. We'll do some, uh, some movie, some big movies coming out over the summer. We'll do some recaps of those and, and stuff like that over the over the summer, we'll still be around and obviously on the social, so, social media. Yeah, we'll be doing some run ins, exactly. Maybe that's what we'll call the summer series the run ins. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say like some re like the re run ins. Like maybe we'll, oh, yeah, our, we gotta throw some of those. We gotta get back on the, yeah, no, that, that would definitely be good. Let's spend the off season coming up with some more creative names for things. I think, yes. exactly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You know, me so. and Zach, we're gonna end up freaking eating crazy shit anyway, so we throw that out on <laughs> the right. Patreon. Actually, I have a bag of barbecue chips that Mike sent us that I still have to uh, taste us. Yeah, sure. so maybe we can do that. Um, I know the new Jurassic Park movie is coming out. My kid wants to see that, so maybe do a little yeah. review of that afterwards. Meet and so, yeah, exactly. So we'll still be around, just uh, we won't have a weekly show um, until after SummerSlam. So that is our big announcement. Uh, don't unsub- unsubscribe from Patreon. We're still going to do that. We'll still be posting stuff up there. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a big announcement. So we're taking the summer off. We're going to be like, we're going to be on a teacher's schedule. Ain't that about <laughs> yeah. You're getting paid just about the same too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, all right, let's, uh, let's get into this episode here. Uh, oh, before we actually go any further, I do want to give, uh, some thanks to, uh, because we did get to, uh, episode 100 here and, uh, obviously, all you guys listening every week, uh, subscribing to the Patreon, all that stuff. Um, obviously, we would not be at episode 100 if nobody was listening. So thank you guys uh, for, for uh, tuning in every week. I uh, want to thank Wrestling Collector Shop. They're always hooking us up with the giveaways and our discount code. Homage, Figure Collections, uh, Blitz Creek Pro, um, you know, great partnership with them. Uh, mean Dean Wireman on our social media machine. He has been uh, destroying social media. Yeah. Um, in such a good way. Buy, sell, trade toys. He was one of the first guys to come on as a sponsor. Um, so shout out to him and giving us a discount code. And uh, Barrios Toys, uh, shout out to them for uh, they're always willing to, to give us a little retweet or share our uh, our new episode and stuff. And I'm sure I'm missing somebody. But uh, and of course, you guys here in the inner circle, Kenny, Mike, mm. uh, Phil and uh, Zach, who is obviously not here, but he's always willing to throw a quick graphic together for us or yeah, yeah. help us with some tech help. And uh we appreciate the hell out of you guys for uh, for helping out. I mean, Phil landed a huge interview for us for the Patreon and uh, with uh, Charles Davis right before the draft. draft and, uh, I mean, geez. Yeah, it was. Cool. It's all been good stuff. So yeah, man. Um, I didn't think we'd make it to a hundred ad- episodes or be as uh, as popular as we are. Not to pat yeah. ourselves on the back. Yeah, what did we yes, have? What, you guys have a good thing. That first episode. What's that? Would you say, what would you say? We had like 30, 30 people listen to the first. When we first, you know, uh, I could actually uh, talk amongst yourselves. I could go back and look mm-hmm. that up. <laughs> 30, I forgot he would forgot to, be good uh, for a first episode. Yeah, yeah. Our first 30. episode, thirty. If I tell you the, the the number, if I tell you the number to the first episode that I did, the first interview, you'd be like, really? I think it was like I, le- I think it was like twelve. Man. <laughs> and like the, those twelve people, I actually knew because I told them, "Hey, you got to listen to this. Like, right. we know what you think. <laughs> you know what I mean?" And the it was like, okay, person. yeah. <laughs> Like now, I'm surprised when the number, like when the numbers keep spiking up. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, yeah. Like, I'm like, shit, I don't know that 30? many people. Yeah. <laughs> well, we I don't, I, now. I'd almost Shoot. re-listen to that first episode, but I bet it's a train wreck. Oh, I bet it's terrible. Oh, uh, I was moving the mic to listen to. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest doing that. Although maybe <laughs> that'll be the first greatest hits episode. Yeah, there you go. Or, or best flashback. ever. <laughs> people um, are gonna be confused. So we aren't on Anchor anymore, and that's where we dropped mm-hmm. the first episode. So it's giving me a hard time trying to pull up the end. From oh, here we go. First episode, 157 plays. That's oh, after. Yeah. It, yeah, that's been a while. I mean, people can yeah, still go yeah. back. Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. So I don't know how many it had, like 
when we first jumped in, but uh, DJ, DJ goes on there and clicks down you know, yeah, every, every morning to Tom's phone, <laughs> his wife's phone, his Listen. kid's phone. No, I only do that now parent- that we ha- that we have ads playing. I do that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. His parents teach him that he just says, "Give me your phone." Yes, yeah. just starts <laughs> playing it. Like, it's a requirement. Yeah. If you want your kid to pass, it's a requirement. You need to press play and just <laughs> let it play in the background as you're going home. Yeah, first episode, thirty-four plays. So there you go. Ooh, there you go. Right on the nose. Yep. So there you go. That's uh that's uh, like day one drop. So but, n- but not for nothing. A hundred episodes, you guys have been uh killing it every yeah, time. Sure. But when I have to take long drives, not for nothing, I do put on your episodes because you guys, you know, go like an hour, close to two hours. So it helps me, you know, especially if I have to be by myself, I have I have you guys in my ear as <laughs> as I'm go. driving. That's You're- funny because people think you don't listen. I know, right? That was, you know what? You know, hold on a second. Let's, let's, let's like, clarify let something. Now that, now that we have a hundred episodes in, okay? Kenny's correct. I do listen. As a, I know you listen. A, a, a my, I have to say it's it's my fault at times where like I don't get the corrections in when I'm supposed to because I'll listen to it. I, I first of all, I work midnight to eight o'clock in the morning, so of course I'm going to listen to it while I'm while I'm at work. Right. And then I'm sitting here and I'm like, all right, I like I know I have to send something out. But then, like you guys said, you know, real life steps in. I have, you know, two kids. I got yes. work. I have other things. I go on three other podcasts at the same time as well mm-hmm. and do streams and try to freaking book people for interviews. So a lot of the time I do mess up, which Tom will give me shit for. <laughs> no, he'll I... go and say he'll go and say like, oh, you didn't listen as a joke. But then, you know, but I, I do listen, you know, every week. I am a part of the Patreon, so I get to listen to it even earlier. So. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I think that's one thing that people don't necessarily realize in the podcast is like me and DJ aren't uh, we're not doing this full time. we got other things going on in our lives. So like sometimes we're late getting a giveaway out or um, or just even like being able to record. Some nights I'm just fucking beat and I don't want to record. Um, and that happens and or DJ's car dies or something or like right. last week we had technical issues and I just after 45 we minutes of trying. like we yeah. like, like, we were on we were literally here trying and then the sound just kept going and underwater yeah. cuz Tom hit me like, up yeah he was like, he, he was like hey how is restream and if i would have known that i would have gave you my like my login but like i was sleeping oh it's all <laughs> it's good like, man it, yeah we ran into tech issues last week and we just we were like fighting it for 45 minutes and then it was just like all right let's uh let's scrap this and we'll just do episode 100 so but uh Phil, you all right there? You're in there? I'm good, man. I'm listening. Oh. I'm enjoying the <laughs> banter. I thought he was if sitting there if buying watch, some shit. If you're watching the video, I thought you were asleep. If you guys are watching <laughs> the video on Patreon, I thought I thought, I thought, I thought no. I thought Mike looked like he's asleep. Uh, <laughs> I was like, am I good? Right? I'm good. Oh, man, I'm ready to talk some wrestling, dude. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's all talk right. hell in the cell this past week. Uh, Phil, get, you started us off here, man. What were your overall thoughts on uh, on hell in the cell? I thought it was way better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was very entertaining. I think it 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 started some cool storylines. I think the uh, the Judgment Day match was really good. That women's match is a match of the year candidate. That would have been fun to see in a Hell in a Cell match. Uh, but you know the story is going to be that main event with Cody wrestling with that injury. He's going to be out for what five or six months now or something. And I mean he's he's over, man. I I was. You know, there was there was times where he was kind of annoying in AEW, but I think it's pretty clear that he's he's where he deserves to be now in, in WWE. He deserves to be on the bigger stage, and I mean he fits right in. I mean he's he's the reason I want to start watching re- wrestling more regularly because he's just it's an awesome guy to watch to get behind. You know, it's a fun storyline. Kenny can probably uh, correct us on this, uh, no pun intended. But didn't he didn't he say tonight he was going to be at Money in the Bank on Raw? I mean, he teased. That he was going to be at Money in the Bank before Seth Rollins came out and the, he ended the whole uh, attack thing, but I, I think that's done. I think he just said it just to get people hyped for it, okay. and then Seth pretty much just took him out from there. So I, I don't, oh, I don't right. see him going into Money in the Bank, but I do see him showing up and maybe just costing Man, Seth Rollins, yeah, costing Seth Rollins the uh, the match, okay. and getting the Money in the Bank. You can do that with one arm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All you got to do is turn the lights off and hit the music, and yeah. he doesn't even have to be there and distract yeah. him. Um, uh, I guess Cody comes back at Royal Rumble and wins that. You know, that's probably the, the that, timeline, I, I right? Yep. Yeah, that's sure. actually a good call there. I mean, if he could wrestle, you let him win it, and then he can go and heal up, and he has the title match when he comes back. 
Right. Man, on you got. Wanna. Yeah. So I, I, got, I, I got a. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I mean, I got a feeling that they're gonna stack this money in the mm-hmm. bank, like the ladder matches. I think with the mm-hmm. with the guys they mm-hmm. have, especially if you're trying to put somebody against Roman that people are gonna care about and think have a shot. Mm-hmm. You almost have to put five, six top tier guys. Yeah, for sure. There's nobody. If he, come, if he comes back in five months. If he comes back in five months, he can still do it because he well he got crown jewel in November. Yeah. Oh, hey Kenny's kids. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Just heard him. Just heard him. Uh we were joking before we started recording that Kenny's kids are gonna make an appearance in this. So if you're on the Patreon. Well, Stanley Andrew's gonna show up too, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, the, or some noise in DJ's house is gonna pop up or Phil is, is Nash in bed. Nash is in bed. He's good to go. My wife's yeah. reading. She's yeah. mad that she, I didn't get her any ice cream. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are they still uh, in school there? Yeah, another two weeks or so. Yeah, they've been, yeah. Out, they've same. been out here for like two and a half, three weeks already. It's crazy. Damn. My my kids are off tomorrow. That's the only reason why they're up. Oh, right. now you would have never heard them. They, they would have been sleeping right now. <laughs> right. It's because they actually educate the kids, Mike, in in, uh, other, I, in other states. I guess. I guess. <laughs> but no. <laughs> Uh, no, but the overall, I thought the, the pay-per-view was really good. For not having Roman on the card, not having sure, Rousseau's. Yeah, yeah like, there you go. And I was there like, I was thinking in my head, I was like, man, when was the last time Roman missed a pay-per-view? And then I remembered he, he wasn't on day one, which was just a couple of months ago. So, yep. uh, But still, they put on a, a really good card for having a, a, a limited roster. Yeah, I thought the uh, the whole I thought the whole pay-per-view was decent. Yeah. Um, I love. I'm still loving everything going on with Ezekiel. Every and like, yeah. <laughs> well, it's very entertaining. One of yeah. my buddies said this best: uh, it, Rollins and Owens are like the two guys on the roster right now, uh-huh. where you can have them lose multiple times, like they are, uh-huh. and they still come out. They're still over as hell. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not taking anything away from them. Uh, they're they're still killing it. You're still going to think Seth Rollins has a chance at the title, like. How many times in a row has Kevin Owens lost now? I feel I can't remember the last time Kevin Owens won a and match. He, and he's probably the favorite going into Money in the Bank. Money he's in the, the Bank. One guy right. that you could see winning and, and making a title match, I guess, relevant. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I was happy that the pay per view was like right on three hours. Uh, yeah, I was going to say it wasn't cause, seven hours cause, long. Yeah, because seven days before we watched a 10 hour pay per view. Yeah, we, we didn't have to stay there. It's like <laughs> marathon pay per view. Um, yeah, I, I think and going back to Cody, you know, I think he he ha- he knew what he was doing. Like when he got the injury, he knew what he was doing to get out there uh, because, you know, everybody like, you know, Becky with the with the nose. You got Steve Austin with his lip. You know, his lip is all sewn up when he's doing the Austin 316. Um, and I can go like, you know, I can go on with the people that got these injuries that wrestling fans appreciate that you went back out there and finished. Um, and I think that's what Cody did. He's like, no, I got to go out. Like, look at this bruising. I got to go out there, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, just, yeah. the, just the visual of seeing him like that, even if the match hadn't have been as good as it was, you still right. would have gone. And then put hey, on he a went out there. match. Right. <laughs> now, people would have given him more shit for going out there if he had really wrestled with one arm and looked bad and stuff like that. But right. they, they put on a great match. And a lot of that, you got to credit Seth Rollins. Oh, which sure. Is Definitely. Sure. Probably with the best guy that they have, or one of the top three at least. The uh, Edge and uh, his little Judgment Day clan uh-huh. versus AJ and uh, his crew was pretty good. Yeah, um, it was good. Any comments on that match? Uh, I was expecting somebody to turn, but it sounds like Judgment Day is going to add a new member tonight while we're recording this on Raw. Yeah, no, so. they're they're doing it right now. Yeah, oh, I was okay. going to say that. Yep. Nice. What do you, um, you guys think of Rhea's? Uh, here supposedly it was, that was because it. she um didn't lost have hers something. Yeah, lost somebody, it. yeah so oh, really was, uh, yeah i was confused because i was like is she going with like a color scheme for the the judgment day is it something else and then somebody mm-hmm. said it was lives gear and i was like re uh, ain't fitting that ass in exactly in lives no gear. way no way <laughs> it, was, it was hugging them things for sure yeah yeah but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I, I mean, I, they they got seamstress and stuff that worked there that yeah, could have modded by sure. whatever. But I mean, totally different. Like almost, I would have been more used to that being her outfit and switching to her all black dominatrix looking shit to be in this group, and it was like complete opposite. So 
and I like her little the little Joker smile she did at the end with her her lipstick and stuff. Like, right? She works for that group. It'll be interesting to see what they do as a uh, as a group going forward, though. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's a very unoriginal name, but um, yeah, I like I like what they're doing with it. I like how it's kind of like not like a cult like. You know, Edge is just kind of like trying to recruit some people that haven't been getting the mm-hmm. the rub, so to speak. And it was, I mean, it, that was a good match. She, the even the theory of also Mustafa Ali match was really good. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the, the you... whole card just kind of <laughs> flowed. They had they had it laid out really well. He had that yeah. Bobby Lashley match early on. Get that shit out of the way. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm I'm down on the Ezekiel. I think the 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 gimmick is fun, uh, but just seeing that guy in the ring again, he he just doesn't. I don't know. He's just missing something. I mean. What is he missing? I don't know. It's just a, I don't think he's like he he didn't have like the facials with the crowd. He wasn't like connecting. Uh-huh. Like he wasn't like trying to do the comeback like as like a baby face would do. I just don't think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this match is rushed for him. Yeah, because something was any other in that match. Because yeah. any know. other time on Raw, he's he's great with like with everything yeah. that you're saying that he missed. He, he normally on hits on okay. Raw. So he's, maybe it was something. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I, I get where Phil's coming from because, like, he's great with the crowd and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But I also, at the same time, if I see him in a match, I'm like, ah, he's probably losing this. Or if he wins, it's like a freak roll up or, or something like that. Like, it's mm-hmm. always that goofy finish. So I just don't ever see this character as like championship material. Yeah. Or is this just like a transitional thing before they go back to Elias? Or what? what is, what's the deal going to be here? Because I don't know how much longer you can. Like straight, he's not going to just be this Ezekiel I guy. I think it it's made to look kind of hokey, right, with the tassels and stuff like that. Right. Like, I mean, they 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 struck gold with him and Kevin Owens. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you're not Ezekiel. Like, <laughs> right. all like it, it, that has actually worked way better. Because wait, wait, probably, I don't understand what you mean. What they're different people. No, no, no. I'm talking about they're Kevin brother. Owens. Yeah, accusing, oh. falsely accusing, falsely Ezekiel. accusing him. Like, yeah. uh, I was about to say there was a lie detector test and everything to prove exactly. that he so, is right. Ezekiel. Yeah, I think I mean obviously Owens has helped a lot because it adds to the legitimacy of a of a like a rivalry there, I guess. So mm-hmm. yeah, I mean because a week, two weeks into the the Ezekiel thing, I was just like, oh man, this is just not gonna work, and it's actually been better than I ever expected. You wasn't you wasn't one of those believers? Here's here's what I thought <laughs> hey, until doing. until he got the tassels and started looking like the Ultimate Warrior. I, yeah, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, in. He wasn't a Ze- he wasn't a Zeke freak, as he said. I was hoping well, they'd have, I was hoping they'd have Ezekiel win and then have like Damian Sandow at the top of this uh, of the ramp, <laughs> oh, like man. coming up as Elias, just do the thumbs up and then walk out and like I'm, without, man, without getting like a tight yes. close up on him or something and like oh wait there it really is him you know or something like just keep keep it going. Yeah, Sandow. This is what the the. Ezekiel character is reminding me of of, of San- <laughs> Damian's hand. Um, I'm gonna wait. Pull it off. He looks finish. like Sandow. Looks kind of looks like Elias, you know. So yeah, he can pull that off, you know. So we talked about Judgment Day, and I know Tom is looking right now. Yeah, He's like, yeah. So Edge is out of Judgment Day. What? what? They just they, they just sure attacked him. him. Finn Balor. It was a new member coming into Judgment Day. And they literally just they're now they're attacking um or Edge or to keep them out of his own group. Already. Now there's a curveball I did not wow. see. Wow. <laughs> there we wow. go. I mean, I'm good with Finn being a hill. Right. Now they just need to kick Damian Priest out and then let him go. <laughs> You would put all together. <laughs> it's terrible. Poor Damian Priest. You know he's, he never yeah. catches a break. Be so bad. So wait, so it's Finn Balor's basically replacing. You, I yeah, think yeah. he's replacing Edge. Yeah. Mm, I don't like that. I, don't think I do. Finn Balor about. needs something. There's man. been a couple of Finn Balor like semi hill type runs. Yeah. They, they've been pretty good. So, but can he can he do it on the mic? Can he be the leader of that group like on no. the mic? No. Yeah. You need someone like Edge because I'm I'm yeah. sorry, but um, I'm about to jump on you know the the train with Mike and like. Damian Priest is not great on the mic at all. Yeah, you know, Rhea Ripley is not great on the mic either. You know, and and Finn is he's okay, but he's not like he's not an edge who's gonna give you these stories where you're gonna be like, huh, okay, and it makes you think. So unless unless this is setting up for Bray to come back, oh wow, 
and be the leader of this don't tickle, group. Don't tickle my balls like that, man. Oh, <laughs> hey, listen, I'm tickling. Okay, I got it right here. Yeah, right, yeah, they, need, they need get, something. That's, well, that's and, and, and but you, you have to. You almost, get Bray right now. I don't want to. This group is going to be dead in the water by well, the. Yeah, it's but, another yeah, retribution. It's another retribution nope. if they don't. Yeah, have yeah, yeah but so you have to have that. You have to have that moment. You have to cap it. I don't know if it could be quite as bad as retribution. You have to cap it at like four or five people because otherwise it's going to turn into like the NWO and there's going to be. I'm say the Bullet Club. There's going to be yeah that too. There's going to be thirty members. So yeah, speaking of retribution, I did see. Divakovic T bar out there tonight. Uh, when was the mm-hmm. last time he was on TV? And he was like, he was tweeting. Oh, was he? Tweeting. Yeah. Twenty four seven title. Ooh, 24/7 title. Uh, tweeting tonight about wanting a chance, and I'm like, well, I guess he got one, sorta. Listen, but is it as Becky was about to be champ. As- hey, if they had put that belt on Becky, one, it would have been funny. Two, people might have cared about that belt for the first yep. time in like three years. True. Yeah, I always thought they would put it on somebody like, like a Brock Lesnar, and just like, oh, no one has a chance not of not him, not yeah, just no one like mm-hmm. you know, or Strowman or something, or like you know, just make it so like it almost brings legit- legitimacy back to it, mm-hmm. and like an unbeatable type of guy. But back back to the uh, Judgment Day thing. I mean, you can't do Finn Balor with the face paint because that's way too over with the fans. So no, you've only had that once in the last like three, four years, yeah. probably. It's yeah. crazy how it is crazy. Seldomly they do it now. Yeah, it's I mean, smart, that's... but and that's how you do it. You do him as he's the heel without the face paint, and then in like six, eight months when they break this group up and he fights Damian Priest, he'll go yeah. back to the the demon thing again and yeah 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 interesting to see where they but you know it's a nice twist i mean it'll get people talking for sure definitely uh yeah uh anything else on uh hell in the cell fellas (laughs) we were from hell in the cell we were talking about i blacked out there for a minute Uh, well like you said like (laughs) it's it's kind of like what we say on the show though like it's so one of those shows that you didn't expect much and then you got entertained mm-hmm. um which is what wwe is actually good at doing like they they, they do have that knack of uh kind of lulling you to sleep on the on the weekly show and then yeah. all of a sudden the pay-per-view happens and you're like oh i didn't even know i wanted to see this match yeah. you know so i did i did like that mustafa ali uh was in his hometown fought for a title had mm-hmm. like his wrestlemania gear they said his family was in the crowd, and then hey. he lost. Then he lost clean. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I don't. That always happens, though. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. And it's yeah. Crowd, your hometown. Crowd was, crowd was behind him. Big time. Yeah. I'm oh, almost. Yeah. That was a good match, though. I, and I like theory, and it's going to be interesting when Cena shows up. What they do, like, even if they just have a moment in the ring, but I don't know that they've done a lot ever since, and maybe even before Mania. Just like the theory thing has not gotten to where I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. Other than him having the U.S. title, and I don't think he's done anything with that. Needs to screw. No. O- they need to screw over more people. Um, I think that's what would you know. Like, if you're gonna make him a heel, go all the way. Like, be like you know, kind of like MJF, where he he goes all the way. He dives all the way into a heel. Like, he will do whatever he needs to mm-hmm. do to get get the heel heat. And that's not what they're doing with Austin. Like, so good. You know, have McMahon like you know have people wrestle him in impossible situations you know and have people get tired of it that's what you want Mm -hmm. so that they so that he gets he needs to get like he he doesn't have a reaction right now which is not Mm -hmm. good he needs to be getting booed out of the building when he when his when his music hits and it's not happening he needs to get booed like when he was in evolve yes when i watched him in evolve wrestling no matter what city he was in they booed him it just I don't even know who he like feuds with and it just seems like there's not a lot of legitimacy to the US title mm-hmm. kind of like the the IC title being on Ricochet right now like if you put it on Gunther on Friday oh, they will we'll see we'll what do they do with that like, but, they, but then somebody's so got to fight him and you got to think he has a chance of losing it so right so i say take a guy like say Montez Ford who I think if he if you started him on a singles thing, people would get behind him right away and then have Austin keep cheating him. Like keep like Vince McMahon does something. He keeps getting cheated, keeps getting cheated. 
you're going to start booing. Like, you're going to start, getting, come on, you know, I want to see Montez win a singles title. Montez, but he looking, keeps like, uh, Montez looking like somebody put him on a food plan and showed him where the gym was. He's yeah. starting to, he's starting yeah, everybody to said the same thing. to bulk up a little. Because they probably yeah, told him, hey, you want a singles run? Then you, need, can't to, be, can't be you, need, to, you need to bulk up. Yeah. Can't be a Kofi. He's so skinny. Uh, By the way, mean, sorry. sorry yeah. I was going to say, speaking of, uh, Speaking of Kofi, uh, did you guys see what Ryback said about uh, oh God, about okay. Kofi regarding uh, regarding uh, Cody's uh, pec injury? Oh, it was boy. actually I hate Ryback with a passion, but it was actually pretty funny. Uh, he goes, I, "That's not a big deal." I've seen Kofi Kingston uh, wrestle with no uh, pecs for. 10 <laughs> years now or something something to that effect <laughs> yeah that's that is kind of funny, funny. <laughs> that popped or me just a like bit. or the adam cole meme i saw where he's like oh i won't tear a peck because i don't think it hurt me. yeah it can't get hurt <laughs> if you don't work yeah. out <laughs> i like i like uh i like dougie nunya's uh like mail call post today and it was the micro brawler and he said <laughs> actual size yeah, yeah that was pretty good yeah, that was pretty me. good <laughs> always good to make adam cole jokes yep absolutely 100 percent all right. Uh, what? Anything else you guys want to talk wrestling, or you want to get into this roundtable discussion? I mean, uh, did, any... we, did we talk anything? Sorry, did we talk anything about the CM Punk injury and and the MJF promo? Did you? You yeah, guys were you didn't right? have a show. Oh, last we, week. we probably should cover that. Yeah, we can talk about <laughs> pretty big news. Yeah. We can talk about how uh, after Double or Nothing, I'm the <laughs> prediction champion now. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, of course, he wants to true. bring that. <laughs> well, we, we tried. We tried to record it, or we tried to talk uh-huh. about it on the last week's show, but DJ's mm-hmm. mic wasn't working. So, ironically, so uh, <laughs> we, it didn't get brought up. So, I got to bring it up this week. DJ, I'm going out on to, top you here. Have to win, no, you have to win the title back. Okay, like, there has to be some. There has to be a special Patreon episode. <laughs> oh, maybe we do... maybe just picks. Do you just money, do the picks. Money in the bank yeah. picks. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Call picks. it running picks. That's yeah. pretty creative, right? Run, yeah. run and pick. <laughs> I like it. The pickings. The pickings. There, there you go. Nice pick. have a guy picking yeah. those. All right. Sorry. Somebody was saying something. Uh, well, oh. About CM Punk uh, hurting his little toe and, and being out for about a couple months. <laughs> no, I mean, this. Uh, the injury sucks or whatever. I, I don't know if it happened when he jumped into the crowd or during one of the matches. He obviously wasn't 100%. I don't know why he tried to jump over the top rope when he got tagged in and looked like an idiot, but the the convoluted explanation of what they're going to do with this title now, uh, between like a twenty minute like thing on Rampage from CM Punk when he didn't didn't really even say what like clearly what was going to happen with the belt, and then the announcers all saying different things, and now I guess Moxley is jumping up to the number one spot in the rankings to fight somebody from the battle royal and then then they that person fights Which, somebody from is moxley new, the new japan well, like why well, that, well that's why? it on wednesday they showed like the graphic and moxley was mm-hmm. like four and then jumped yeah. to one because wardlow's one makes no sense and then like right. why are the two the why are the new japan so guys <laughs> one step away from a, a world title like so what yeah. I mean, what is the battle royal for who what, what the, does the that winner the winner for? fights moxley when mm-hmm at the forbidden door, no, okay. no, no. The, or, or then on, blood and on, guts on Wednesday or Friday. Uh, no, blood and guts is after forbidden door. It's so see, we still don't know. I'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah, it's so, battle, wrestling battle, should not be this complicated. I believe the battle royal is probably going to open dynamite. Mm-hmm. The winner is going to fight Moxley either at the end of dynamite or rampage, and then that winner there, fights man. the winner of the two Japanese guys at forbidden door. And then that person is just an interim champion. Exactly. To it's turn a, around and a fight Punk, Punk probably. Yeah. Punk's probably only going to be out for like two months. So it's probably going to be broken Brian. foot or broken bone. He'll be ready for all deal. Yeah, I think that's when it'll happen. So I don't it'll like be, the interim champion thing. It'll it doesn't be Brian Danielson. I'm yeah. about to say Danielson or Wardlow. It should be Danielson. They should have just... They should have just gave it to Warlow, especially that's, if you're doing this whole no. MJF. Well, that's you're do- the problem is- but you think about it like this: if you're doing a whole MJF angle that he hates Tony and all that, what better way to get your fans, your diehard freaking fans, talking even more by saying, you know what? No, Warlow's gonna be the guy that's gonna go in and be the champ and fight CM Punk because MJF is not there, just to stick it to him even more. But 
Hey, listen, I don't I don't write this stuff. I just watch it. <laughs> don't, you don't I mean, have the MJF, sh- MJF shouldn't be on TV for the next he, he's not gonna 30, be. 30, 60 days. If you want that storyline and stuff to really work, just don't put him on TV. Oh, because he's a he's a baby face now. So who anybody you put him against is going to get booed. They're they're going to love him. So you, you've backed yourself into a corner here. I'm, so I don't know. And I, just, I mean, I that was a cool promo, but I don't think it did what they wanted it to do. That's for sure. Right. And then supposedly these uh, Discovery HBO execs didn't care for it because of what Gosh. he said. Who knows on that? So do they know anything about wrestling? No, they don't. Well, that's they're it. the ones that make the decisions. So I mean. You just, you they don't know the, the background. Money. They yeah, all they like heard this, was this the is cursing. How stories and... work in wrestling. You make yeah. it kind of real. Is, <laughs> it's this gotta, is, this is why the line. This is why I said, I said, once AEW becomes a, a public traded company and they start getting all these big time investors, mm-hmm. those little the 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 flips and the kickouts and the little pyro stuff that all these AEW fans love so much that they talk so much shit about WWE. It's gonna go away, and they're gonna look more and more like WWE. Well, that's and every and everyone's gonna yeah. hate it, and they're gonna be like Tony, turn his back on us, mm-hmm. and they're gonna start crying and burn all the action figures like the big <laughs> Cody's. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's... You're, you're you're right, Kenny, because if you're an executive at a TV company, you don't care about you see what WWE de- does and the money they make, and like, hey, we need to be more like them because yep. they're making a lot of money. That's all. Right. That's all they yeah. care about. I, I, I more than likely, yeah. they're seeing they're mm-hmm. seeing current product. Like, you yeah. might occasionally have that person that was, oh, I grew up in the Attitude Era, but hell, the Attitude Era is twenty five years old. Yep. Like, a lot of these execs are seeing to watch again. current this current you- day, and that's what they want. Like Kenny said, it's the money that they're mm-hmm. seeing, or or uh, Phil said. They're seeing how much WWE is making and the ratings. They're like, just make something competitive. Like, we don't need all the blood. We don't need the cursing. With all with all the stuff going on in the world right now, if I'm an executive that has money uh-huh. that I'm trying to give to you, uh-huh. I can't bring my family to this because I don't want my son to go and say F you, F uh-huh. you, and all this other stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go to WWE. Uh-huh. Where they have somebody like Ezekiel who's going around, you know. <laughs> I mean, slapping, the, slapping the kids' hands. I got somebody like Cody who's giving out belts to kids every week you with, know? The, with one pack. But they can yeah. get away with, with a lot more if they end up moving to HBO, if it's not just the old footage. Because uh, it sounds like this contract could come up for TNT and TBS. And if the ratings are where they're at and they stay that way, hell, they may not renew it. Mm hmm. So then if they move to HBO and it's not just their their catalog there, then they can get away with more cussing and not having to cut it out well, or blur anything. So, Well, it's also half the issue is that, um, so like, for example, I went to the movie theater to watch the uh, Double or Nothing. So bad for you. And, <laughs> and so, so somebody came, I, I forget who came out, like one of the, uh, you know, like during the, the idolo or one like or, or doing that promo where the where he's like oh this guy's a big star around the world remember that <laughs> and then he walks in and, and then everybody in the theater go who's that and then i yelled out <laughs> oh it's somebody we're supposed to know and everybody started laughing because they knew what i was saying like how they bring out these guys that that the casual fan like even if you're more than casual like i would say we're all four of us all five of us are more than casual and we didn't know, like, you know, most of us don't know who this guy was, but we're, but they present him as we're supposed to know. And I'm somebody, I'm not going to lie to kick it. I'm like, dude, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I've never seen that man before in my life. Mm-hmm. And you just presented him to me. Like, like I'm just supposed to know who he is. And that's where your ratings are gone. I had this conversation with a hundred percent. I mean, I don't, it's, I'm surprised they didn't have somebody in the movie theater just walk around poking people to wake them up. <laughs> like, sir, are you okay? Are you all right? Because I know this. West, remember, I'm on the West Coast, so that so that's the only thing that uh-huh. kind of okay. saved it. It was earlier there. I'm about to say, I heard, I heard I heard 12 East o'clock midnight, leaving, I'll be sleeping. So. Well, yeah, because you know those people in the theater, it was the only thing that was still playing mm-hmm. at 11, 12, 1 o'clock, and they were like, I want to go home. Yep. Instead, I've got all these wrestling fans. Like with their wow. one big popcorn and big drink, and 
<laughs> I gotta wait to clean up the theater. Like I don't know if they'll do that again. I, in some I, theaters. I, uh, I went to a, like a watch party mm-hmm. online with a group with another group of people, and like once the show was over, all you seen all the screens pop up, and everybody had that tired face. And one person was like, <laughs> "So, what did you think of the pay per view?" And I was like, "Listen, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I can't yeah. do. It. I can't. It's my one thirty in the morning right now." <laughs> And then Tony well, made you know, all the freaking media stay there for another two hours. Yep. While they rambled on incoherently, all hey, up but about. they won the Friday Night War, Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one hour. Which one? They played something on the Jim Cornette podcast about him talking about. Well, uh, there was a twenty five percent chance of the of the NBA Finals having a, a Game Seven on this week, so that means seventy five percent chance that they didn't have a Game Seven. So we don't want to do. I think we had a good day. Blah, blah, blah. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Right. What, what is no, this? the funniest thing to me was through that scrum <laughs> where they asked him, I was like, why didn't you do the casino um, battle royale? And he was like, oh, I didn't want to overpack the card. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like, are you serious? Like, we've been on since six o'clock that. in the afternoon all the way until one o'clock in the morning. How much? You know, okay. <laughs> you could have cut yeah. something. I don't think we need yeah, to eat the page and the Scorpio the Sky on the card. Like that's what that's what half the problem was. That Darby Allen match happens at like your starting title matches, and then all of a sudden mm-hmm. you throw Darby Allen match in the middle. Like, wait, what? Like, you know, I'm thinking we're going okay, titles or and then Darby yeah. Allen. Like, wait, what? So this is what happens when you have a fan with the pencil. <laughs> Tom, do you remember what you were gonna say a while ago? Nope. <laughs> no, I was saying with a friend. He thinks right. that uh, he thinks that AEW is trying to uh, I can't cater Tom. cater to the internet fan and not the like uh-huh. uh, you know not a casual uh-huh. fan or a lapsed fan. Well, sure. So, yeah. so yeah. that's why they're throwing these New Japan guys out or whoever because they're like, oh, they're gonna know who these guys are. Well, that's... Like you're not gonna make. Yeah, you're gonna be a great independent if you do that. Well, that's right. what I was saying about this forbidden door. Like it's it's sold out. Like tickets went immediately, but like you just had a fifty dollar pay per view a month before, and they usually spread their pay per views out. Now you're going to have them back to back. Like, are the people going to pay for it again who don't know these new Japan guys? No. Ezekiel just came out. No tassels. Oh no! no. Is he slowly transitioning that's to the, that's the end. imitate his brother? Does he does he have a guitar pick in his hand? No guitar yet. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. know. Uh, Yeah, like, I I mean, they, it depends on how they build this card, but it's only three weeks away. Like, you're going to, you're going to know your world title match on Wednesday, but beyond that, I don't know what this show's going to be. And then who's the, you know, who's, who's FTR going to go against? Uh, You know, kind of, you know, it's basically going to be all these quote dream matches of a guy that we know in AEW and some guy that we don't. But let, let some fans are not going to know who they are. Well, and you so have I, to. I just want to see. You're not just going to put all AEW people happy. over, which makes me think you're going to get like. I think you're going to get a lot of mid card AEW people on the show that are willing to lose matches. Have they have they done anything yeah. on Rampage or Dynamite? Because I haven't been watching to showcase like a, one or two of these New Japan guys every week to let them know. No, I mean, they, assuming they're assuming we know all of them. Okay, no, I mean you have assuming we know. Yeah, Moxley had Moxley fight somebody <sighs> or he's gonna fight somebody. So not since that one guy with the you know the divots in his hair that doesn't sell. What's his name? <laughs> like, you know, he's he's an older guy, right? Is yeah, still, like an active oh, so, guy in New Japan. You can shoot Suzuki. him and he's just gonna stand there and go. I mean, yeah! they, they, <laughs> I mean they've had Suzuki on TV, you've had Jay White, like you've had some guys from New Japan, but it's still not it's the people who already watch it who know who these people are you're not doing a good job of no building for your your audience that only knows no. the john Mo- like your ex wwe guys or your current aw like young people so it's t- almost, is, it's, it's too much is okada gonna be he's their champion is he is he supposed to be there i don't think they showed him yeah i mean and let i think uh, i don't, I don't if think he fights so. if he fights hangman it's like the only person on the roster that makes sense mm-hmm. Yeah. You, and it, let, it doesn't sound like you're getting Omega back in time, so so we can watch Omega wrestle the the inflatable doll. Right. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> five star match from Dave Meltzer. 
I didn't think we were gonna go. Uh, I didn't think we were gonna have the uh, Phil hates AEW segment. <laughs> on the show. We, we, we shoot. AEW. We shoehorned it in. Absolutely. I, I mean, I just hate what they're doing with this the title thing. I mean, I understand it's bad luck when somebody gets hurt, but I mean, do a tournament or a you know, like why why is someone from another company going to be deciding who the champion is? You know, I, it's just I don't. I know it's. It doesn't seem like they've really thought it through very much. They had to put a, a press release out with all these like four par- four or five paragraphs on it. It's just, it's too much, man. Well, and and the whole thing about like the announcers not knowing what was going on. I really think they were just on the fly, like coming up with that. And Tony Conscious whispered it in their their ears and mass mm-hmm. confusion. So yeah, yeah. I'm not oh, a fan well. of the interim champion. No, no it's, that's that's like a UFC thing. I hate that. Like, oh, yeah. I didn't even know UFC did that. I don't. Oh, think UFC yeah, loves it. Like a guy will, gets suspended. I miss, or, I miss or, one. You know. Yeah, you miss one match. All of a sudden, it's an interim champ, and then they fight. They don't make weight, or if they get like a drug thing, they'll they'll give the title to somebody else. And then when the guy comes back, then that he fights the new champ. And no, you're you know. unifying. The two <laughs> yeah. champs John together, Jones so. has done this a million times. John, 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 John. Uh, John. But then, but then tonight, like uh, Cody talked about winning the Money in the Bank and acted like he was, if he won, he would be the the unified Universal Champion. Like I was like. I'm thinking people are fighting for one belt and they're going to separate the two titles again, but I said they should keep it together. Cause they keep saying the belts aren't unified. It's just your, you, you have both belts, your undisputed tag champs, undisputed heavyweight universal, whatever. I so. love the, undis- like, that, that's my favorite WWE title even oh, is, yeah. the, is the undisputed oh, yeah. title. <laughs> yeah. But then it sounds like the tag titles are actually being unified. Like there's going to be Good. one set. So, because I like, I say, hey, if you're the champ, you should be able to go to whatever show you want to go. Like, you know, that yeah. person know, there should, should be able to just. At this point, there really out. shouldn't be a brand split. Like, you have enough time can fill with people. You may not get a lot of people on TV, but I don't need those people on TV. So. All right. You guys want to talk any more, uh, any more wrestling or you want to jump into the round table dis- discussions here? What are you laughing at me trying to keep the show Tom, moving along? Tom, Tom's like, man, I can't wait for this break. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, ready, I hope it's not really to, coming off like that. I'm I just ready to punch keep... out. No, I know. Just, I was just trying no, to keep the show moving. This is what happens when we're all together. It's just <laughs> yeah, like, he's being a good host. You're the we conductor. Don't to, we don't have yeah. to text out. We're just back and forth. Exactly. Bitching yeah. about what we're watching. We're just not sending photos. That we're going to watch. So you guys want to keep talking wrestling or no? No, we can go to the round table now. I mean, what happened yeah, on yeah. Impact? Did you get it all out, Phil? <laughs> Party pooper. <laughs> so you done uh, bitching about AEW? I don't. Think, I think it's pretty pretty constructive bitching. I don't know. I don't think I'm out of line saying <laughs> I'm not. It's not even about the product or the matches. I think it's just the what. The, like Mike said, I just the don't. They they thought it out. They just didn't. You know, yeah. Jericho was there saying one thing, and then you know, so. I, just, um, I think they just they're just in a in a tailspin with this MJF thing. I don't think it's well, I think you don't know that your champ's well. gonna get hurt the night after he wins yeah. the title. So it's like you kind of have to just call an audible and see what happens, especially when you got a pay-per-view 30 days later that was supposed to be a really big deal, and now I don't know if it's gonna be. But hey, they may surprise us and come up with something. So I hate AEW, I'll say it. <laughs> well, no maybe, Ken, all elite, huh? <laughs> maybe Kenny no. could tell us uh, in his Impact Minute why you should watch Impact instead. <laughs> oh man, I, that's that's I haven't watched I haven't watched Impact in like two does weeks. It, does so. Impact have a roster anymore? It seems like everyone. Uh, uh, no, they still have a now. roster. I think um, Maurice, he's leaving. He's done. Yeah, with, I saw with, that uh, with Impact. Man, the um, Kenny Impact have, moment is such a throwback for the running is, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and then, is, uh, uh, I think was it um, Father's Day? They have slam anniversary, so we're probably going to get into, like three new people <laughs> debuting. Cardona's hurt. Well. I was he's, like, is yeah, Cardona hurt. really hurt? Is it? Is yeah, it no, real? no, no, he's hurt. Yeah. I want to go back drop to that the episode. NWA or his other non titles. Let's go back to that episode where uh, Tom was just totally in love with AEW. And just, I, th- I think, <laughs> I think it, I'm an AEW guy, man. It, it was, was like good. one week, this one week, week long. <laughs> they month. had they had a little stretch there where they were really putting things together, you know. Yep, yep, and then it all went to shit. Well, notice like during that, it was mostly homegrown guys that were on on the top of the card, and then all of a sudden, 
they picked up every single person that, <laughs> that got released, quote unquote, from WWE. And look where we are now. And then, you know, I noticed, like, for example, I had to have a good laugh, at, like, at, um, so not my girlfriend, Athena, but the wrestler, Athena, um, who, like, you heard her bitching about, oh, they they wanted everybody to be like Mandy Rose and wear this, that, and the other, right? What was she wearing in her in her match? Mm-hmm. Booty shorts. You're not fooling anybody, sweetheart. You, like, exactly. it's just like, it's just like, you guys just don't, it's like, it's a, it's like a millennial. It feels millennial to me. Like, oh, I want to do what I want to do, but I don't want you to tell me to do it. And then they go to AEW and notice that most of them are doing the exact same thing they were doing on WWE programming. They just don't want somebody to tell them to do it. It's stupid to me. It's like really dumb. So, yeah, I mean, who, who from there, who who that's left has has done something bigger and better in AEW, and not not because of the of their talent. It's because of the way they've been portrayed or booked i mean you could say moxley maybe but he, he was world closest. champion in, in world WWE. champion yeah, <laughs> yeah. The exact but, same thing. i mean miro had a little run there but then they took him off tv now he's back i just don't think anyone has been portrayed to look like they're maybe that's on purpose so that you know they're not putting too many wwe guys over but i just don't think any of them have gone there and done what they thought they were going to do so that's kind of what i said when like every, and you can go back and listen to the i don't know what episode number it is um, but I said on this show a bunch of times, I said, WWE won't miss any of these guys that they're cutting. And I think the guys that have signed AEW is kind of proving that it's like, nobody gives a shit about these guys. Like, I don't give a fuck about Adam Cole. I don't give a fuck about, uh, Bobby fish. Like, I don't care. Ruby riot. I don't, they're not names that like, I'm like, oh shit. CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, yes, those guys got me where it was Daniel like, Bryan thing. Should Daniel yeah, Bryan that, should he be should he should still be front there. and center. He should be front and center of, of all this, not in a three man group. Now, hopefully now with the title thing, he's gonna get pushed to the forefront. But See, I but mean I don't I don't assi- I don't think he'll fight Moxley at the, but since they've already had that match. Yeah. So true. Well, I was gonna say he should be the one getting the title shot, not Moxley. Yeah. Right. And then oh, they God. all they all they all bladed <laughs> oh, God, in yeah. that that. 10 man or whatever match it was at the pay-per-view like every time i turned around you saw someone blading in the, in the corner and oh it geez just, it was a mess uh but even the ma- yeah on wednesday you saw you saw him blade even like and you know william regal tried to say oh he's got six stitches on the top of his head and you can see him <laughs> you can see him shoving his his blade back into his tape <sighs> like you know just they they still like I keep hearing, oh, well, they're only like three, four years old and they still can't get the camera work right to not show that. Um, you're, not, you're not hiring guys that have worked like behind a camera or producers that have only worked for three or four years. Like they should know what, when to cut mm-hmm. away and stuff like that. But how's, how's Adam Cole not the number one contender? He beat Samoa Joe. He won that tournament. Like He won the tournament. I thought I thought that he would have been the number one contender. I was like, oh, I, once they said CM Punk was hurt, I said, yeah, Adam Cole's gonna be your new your new champion. And then he just said, no, we're gonna put Moxley first. <laughs> I don't I don't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> so don't tell me like. So I guess what I'm saying is, like after all this, my main thing is that I nobody. I don't want to hear any more ever anymore of <laughs> don't talk about ever. WWE booking ever again, because it's like, they're do, like what, like I can show you on AEW how it's either worse or, or, or on par <laughs> of WWE booking. So I don't want to hear it no more. They're doing it right in front of your face. They're like, Ru- like I remember all oh, Ruby Soho, right? When, when he, oh, in WWE, oh, they don't know how to book her. She like she always loses the championship match or the big match. What's ha- what's happened in AEW so far? She puts on a puts on a good sharpshooter. Oh, <laughs> geez. I mean, like as somebody that loves the the sharpshooter slash uh, <laughs> a scorpion deathlock, I was screaming at the movie theater all night. <laughs> <laughs> at both at all of those they they all looked horrible that's why that's why sting didn't come to that show he knew he, yeah, he probably, he's like you know what i'm 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 out i'm, 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 I'm hurt she made, she made natalia look like kurt angle see <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and like you said like it's all these people who we don't care or or each individual person may not care about the 
the Bobby Fishes and, and people that are gone. Like, but there's these rumors like Cesaro is going to sign back with WWE. People are going to give him star. shit. They're going to be like, oh, you could have gone to AEW and been the champ. And we hear that about no, you don't every that. single person <laughs> that's that's left. And the same thing with Bray Wyatt. If Bray Wyatt comes back, the AEW people will turn against him. They're like, oh, you could have gone to the greener pastures and done what you wanted to do and all this. So, Like he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> like that's my thing. It's like not... I've heard like, and Kenny, you can probably back me up on this. Like I've heard time and time again, even the people that have left WWE, if you don't like something, you can go to Vince and say, Hey, I don't like this, but you got to have an idea. Don't just say, I don't like this. Give me something else. Well, I mean, how many people are looking at Cody going, damn, look, he's only been back for what, two months. And he's like the number one guy there. Like he, he's a star. It sucks. He got injured. But right. He's still going to get the push even when he comes back. So there's so many guys that probably are going to go, damn, maybe I should go back. Like maybe I'll get that same, same push. Cause something. he probably, he probably stepped to Vince as a man and said, yeah. look, okay, this is what I think my character is. Let's and here's even, I'll give you the storyline. This is yeah. what I think the story should be. Past is the past. It didn't work out. Yep. And then I think if you step to Vince like that, he goes, all right, let's, let's, <laughs> let's see it, pal. And then if you go out there and do it, <laughs> I, like i mean i've seen it time and again and i keep seeing these people whining oh vince made me dress up as a chicken or whatever <laughs> or made me wear booty shorts and now <laughs> and i don't want to be booty shorts slave. outfit if you're gonna give me the money for it <laughs> exactly <laughs> i look at rikishi <laughs> exactly <laughs> all right what do you guys want to do next <laughs> round table I think right. we ran out of wrestling yeah. to talk about. Round table. All right. Let's do a little round table action. Uh, I say let's do three of these topics here. Um, uh, you know what? Here, how about we do this? Uh, we'll do three of these, and then we'll pick one from the Fig Cave post. Um, but, DJ, it's our show. These guys are our guests. Mm-hmm. Let's let Kenny, Mike, and Phil each pick one of these from the list that was sent over to us. Oh, sure. that's a good call. That sound good. That yeah. sound good. All right, let's uh, let's let Mike go first. Yeah, let Mike go first since he wrote most of the list. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> All right, um, man, it's well, it won't be wrestling talk. So I'm gonna that's go okay. with the I'm gonna go with the hall pass one. So I don't know. Has everyone seen this video of the guy and the girl? At it looks like they're at a baseball game or something. They're at Yankee and, Stadium. And the guy, okay, so the guy interviewing them says, if you were given a hall pass from your significant other, who would your hall pass be? And the girl dead up looks at the guy and says her ex-boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, man. I was <laughs> no. I was so crushed for no. the other dude. Like and, then, and then the interviewer's <laughs> like, why would you say that? And she basically said that he was really good he in the a, sack. Yeah, he was a better lover, yeah. <laughs> so oh, there's this guy, he has no. a show. He um he has a show that he does. He has like a, like a podcast, and he's a big Yankee fan. So he goes to every single Yankee game, and he interviews people outside. And mm-hmm. that was the couple that he interviewed, I think, like a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> and that video has been viral ever since. Oh my god! Oh damn! Yeah, it was just brutal. I'm like, I need to follow up if this couple's still together. I have I not seen too. that. And video. then you know, and then you know the, the ex boyfriend has seen the video because it went viral. And I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, I hey girl. So. <laughs> Wait, so what what so that's the question? What would your yeah? So basically, uh, if your wife or girlfriend, significant other allowed you a hall pass, anyone in the world, celebrity, blah, 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 who would it be? All right, DJ, you go oh. first. <laughs> let's, let's put me out there first. Yeah, put him in the fire, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I can I can let you pick two if you, if you can't decide. I I think I got one. Um, uh, Valkyrie. Taya Valkyrie? No, the Valkyrie <laughs> oh, on uh, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like damn, that's the, a, the, that's the, a weird the, pick. The, I I because I forget her name, but the lady that plays Valkyrie in Thor on Thor. We do, so we're doing celebrities. I can't just do like the girl that works at a Seven Eleven. I want you want to hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. You want to you want to sleep on the couch? Yeah. Somebody gets out of reach. 
<laughs> yeah. Tessa yeah, honey, Thompson. We gotta go get some milk. <laughs> uh, Tessa, Te- Thompson. Tessa Thompson is the name of the girl that plays Valkyrie. Okay. Yeah. Oh, then, yep. He said Thor, and I was like, Natalie Portman? Sure, all right. I was like, Chris, <laughs> Chris Hemsworth? Hemsworth? Yes. No, not Chris. <laughs> hey, no, no I mean, if I if I had a if, if I was able to pick a guy, <laughs> he'd be up there. I don't know if I'd pick him. Man, but he'd that should have been the question. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Running Podcast, where we oh, derail boy, off we the subject real Tommy. quick. <laughs> yeah, we always. Oh come on! Everybody's got a man crush. Versus <laughs> Tom Brady. Like you, know. you, you, yeah, saw that under, Tom you saw Brady. that underwear <laughs> commercial today. Oh, I did. I did. That's why I almost had to cancel on you guys. Nope. <laughs> All right. Sorry. We're getting off topic here, but yeah, nobody kidding, right. kidding, can't Move, Moving along. As, Phil, as Phil's looking through his, his I'm looking through my Instagram. He's he has to like, make sure that the name is right. He's girl. just going to be like, yeah, the blind headed who's, girl. Who's, like, you know who's, like, who's, that, who's that girl that <laughs> always is uh, being sent to me? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that Elizabeth even... chick that you're always sending us. Which one? The Elizabeth. Oh, that's one that... no, that's that's Mike's girl. Yeah, that's Mike's girl. She, she yeah. should be on the list. Yeah, I could I could probably I'd pick for it. Mike. Yeah, we could probably pick for each other. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would uh, love to see what you guys would pick for me. Yeah, I don't actually. I don't know who I'd pick for Kenny. My pick is completely off. Like you wouldn't even think. Oh, Your ex girlfriend, man, with Kenny, no. I was I was no, going. No, no. <laughs> He's like, I was no, don't like, get Jay- I was Jay- 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 Latina. Don't tell me. You see how Mike goes and picks J Lo. Now, J-Lo? wait till you hear my pick. And then you're Sha- like, what? Shakira? Rihanna. You hear all the names. He's You hear all the names. He's, he's going like, right? <laughs> yeah. I want everybody. I just, when, when when it gets to my turn, or you guys let me go right now. No, you're, you're going. Here comes it. No, with like, with like Gwen Stacy or something. Nope. No, and my wife and my wife knows it too. Is Lady Gaga? Oh, Lady wow. Gaga. Yeah, she's not a freaky or anything. Yeah, nah, I just... <laughs> nice wholesome. Yeah, girl, you can take home to mom. Yeah, my wife would pick Lady Gaga for herself. Yeah. There you go. Oh, all right. <laughs> Feel you all right? Yeah, I just had I had a funny joke, but I don't think anybody would get it. But I was going to say the girl from Hanson. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> they're all they're all. <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh no! I would say Maurice. Probably I'm gonna go Maurice. So I love Maurice is great. Maurice is a good but one. To me, sometimes her tits look too fake. Mm. Yeah, this steak well, tastes too good. The, <laughs> between <laughs> between yeah, the oh, between the fake and the, the fake steak tits back. and the two kids, <laughs> yeah, they're probably gonna look like that. Yeah. 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 Um Maurice is a great pick. Don't get that's, me wrong. She also seems super, she also seems super, super she, fun. I was gonna yeah. say she's probably fun. Did you see that video of her yelling at uh Miz when he was on up up down down or something? Yeah, yeah that was fucking great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I, I love that episode. That. Yeah. She just landed into him. I'm trying to think of mine too. Uh, yeah. Kenny, did yeah. you give us yours? Yeah, yeah Lady Gaga. Gaga. Oh, right, Gaga. right, right. I'm going through my Instagram too. Oh, and look who came up. Oh, Maurice. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Ah, yeah. uh, fuck. She probably make breakfast too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Damn. I don't. I really don't know. I mean, I, I got a few, but. Ah. Uh, I guess it is. It's my turn, right? Unless Mike yes. goes. I mean, I can go. Like, I, oh man. Like Kate Upton would probably be up there, but I feel like she's kind of like Maurice, where maybe her tits are too big. Oh, uh, come on, what? Uh, I like I like Anna Kendrick. Mm, she's okay. a little wholesome, brunette. Because right. I'm not a big blonde guy, but I'm not gonna turn it down either. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's probably where I would go. God, my fucking hair looks so thinning on this camera here, man. I'm <laughs> kill myself. Um, oh, getting old. Sorry, Mike. Both good, both good choice. I always forget about Kate Upton. I feel like she's kind of disappeared off the face of like pop I mean, culture. The, hus- the husband's making millions as yeah. a pitcher still. So she popped into kids out. Yeah. Yes. Kate Upton. She has. Oh, wow. Well, I got one. Okay. Paulina Gretzky. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Yeah. You know, that's not you get, my the, you get the girl and the cocaine and the dad <laughs> and you get the dad. Yeah. 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 Well, and, that, and, the, and the, and the husband just got $150 million to go play in the Saudi Arabia. Mm. Yeah. PGA tour. He's that's getting, he's getting loving. more, he's getting more in his contract than Tiger Woods has made in his career for the Jeez. PGA tour. Obviously Tiger's made endorsement money, but yeah. it's crazy. His, his initial deal is $150 million. That's crazy. I wow. saw, and Tiger Woods turned that down. He turned I almost, heard- almost a billion dollars down. <laughs> yeah. That's how much, like, I guess, respect he has for the tour. Plus he so, has, so Tiger Justin, has a billion dollars. Is he not going right. to play the PGA tour anymore? Dustin Johnson. It sounds like they're not going to let him do both. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll just take the money. Oh, well, yeah. None of you guys pick Dewdrop, huh? <laughs> uh, no. She wouldn't now. be up there on my list, uh, but I wouldn't no, know. Listen, I'm already no to her. Right? Let's, we let's gotta, make we the got our boy on our other cat, though. That'll, that'll take if you. Leave her, yeah. <laughs> listen, if you, if you leave her in the room, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially with that accent. Throw yeah. some flour on her and look for the wet spot. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Get canceled, man. <laughs> that was it for Mike. <laughs> Guys, thank you for uh, for oh, us man. to uh, run in one hundred episodes. There was a <laughs> see, you, was see a, you in season three. There was yeah. a visual there that oh. My lawyer oh. is Joseph Goldberg. His address is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, that was that was a great question. From that was can I, uh, can I put Liv Morgan as like my second choice? There you sure, go. sure, yeah. All right, nothing wrong with Liv. Oh, I love her. Well, All right. Was, what was Next Phil's question. answer? Um, Maurice. Maurice. Remember? Oh, okay. That's true. All right. Uh, Natty Nat Nightheart. No. A sister. <laughs> he Not said true. no. No, I don't find her sister attractive at all. No, I do. I don't. She's too uh, thick, I think. I was like, That's too right, listen, like I'll take it. Sh- <laughs> all right. I'll can pick they, the next can, one, I guess. Canadian can you cherub? Have, we need, you need to take the thick ones then. <laughs> I'm thick, so I don't need a thick chick. Hey, listen. Keep each He's other scurred. warm. Yeah. That's all right, Kenny. He's a skirt. <laughs> you don't lift weights? Me? Yeah. God, no. Fucking pick he ass said, up. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right. Oh my God, Phil, what do you got? All right, this, this is this is a good question. If you had a college NIL deal, which is uh, basically like a, a sponsorship. personal sponsorship thing that they're doing right. now with college athletes, who would be your prefer- preferred sponsor? Mm. I think this is a no brainer. I think you'd have to go with like as a, as like a college student, you get the money, but you also get like a Chick Fil A to sponsor you or something, and you get like probably like hooked up with food and stuff. Mm-hmm. I just um, assumed. I assumed you were already sponsored by Jimmy's famous no, seafood. Well, you yeah, you would need them. like a national chain. You know, you need some uh, serious money. No, they were right. uh, for uh, High Noon. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, true. Ooh. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Jimmy's Jimmy Seafood does sponsor a bunch of the Tar Heels awesome. players. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I probably. I I guess like a Chick Fil A or something like that. You know. Yeah. Even though they hate gay people. Yeah, I don't agree with their views on a lot of things, but um. that's a fun that not fun. That's a funny subject. It's not even funny. I don't know. That's a weird subject because I love eating their food, but it doesn't mean I have to agree with their politics just because I'm eating their food. There's True. lots of uh, evil corporations that we support. I'm about to say, if you went right. into the things that all these corporations do, you yeah. you wouldn't buy anything. So right, I, right, right. Um. Kenny, what do you got? Who? What would you? What would yours be? Uh, I would say Under Armour. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. So that way you could be in commercials with The Rock and Tom yeah. Brady. Yeah, and uh, Stephen Curry. And Steph Curry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck him, Mike. What's your? He's about to win a ship. <laughs> it's not about to do point. anything. It's one one right now. It's not, not about good. to do anything. I guess you're a Lakers fan. And what is he averaging? Thirty on you guys. Hush. You know, right, we, we muted Lakers. the Lakers fan. No, we didn't talk because shit I'm still his... talking. Yeah, we're not talking about my Lakers. <laughs> like, like the Lakers, the other just Lakers tired fan. Of an you know I mean, like, we just don't have a new coach. Gonna... This like, guy, we're not, gonna, we're, like, we're not going for the chip right now. Like you know, like we're not going to look good, you know, through summer camp all the way until uh, the the beginning of the season. I tell you what, our bench could kick your bench's ass though. Starving <laughs> right. and, and Rasheed Wallace. What? 
<laughs> How's that working out for you right now? Anyway, this is why you're gonna lose to Golden State. Uh, but we're in the finals. That's all Martin, right. Who would you pick? GameStop. No, as much money That's as hilarious. I've given, as as much money as I've given homage, I should get some of it back. Oh, there you uh, go. Yes. Oh. But I, I hey, think you get some sweet shirts. I kind of, I think I'd go with PlayStation. They they sponsor a lot of like soccer clubs, mm-hmm. but not so much for America. So I think uh, if I want an nil deal, I'd want that just so I can get some free shit because that stuff's way more expensive than yeah, some, good t- point. some super yeah. soft t-shirts. Get your team all hooked up with new PlayStations and Madden and stuff. Yeah, and, and PlayStation's got like branded shoes and stuff. It's it's Paul George, so like it's shitty, but uh, <laughs> at least it exists. Well, because it's his design, it's Paul George's design, right? So. Right. I refused to buy them because they had his name on it. That's yeah. like, uh, did I you guys have Stephen Barry's back in the day? It was a clothing store. Yeah, they I don't had, think we had one, but I know what it is. I've they had Steph one. Marbury shoes. Oh, is that the fifteen dollar ones? Yeah, they like were real after shitty. after he had like a uh, like an one or one of those company deals yeah, for yeah. a while. Yeah. I had some an one shoes back in like. My friend Uh, had the ones with the spinnies. Yeah, I went to the Mm -hmm. the mixtape tour once. I was probably the only white guy there. (laughs) With the the professor. (laughs) The professor. All right, DJ, what's yours? We got to do this quick because Kenny's got to cut out and we want him to pick pick a topic for us. Sure, uh, Jordan. I would go Jordan. uh, Especially I ran track and that was the thing was what shoes were you wearing? So... (laughs) Boom! I'd have the, <laughs> the Jordan spikes on, and and I'm pretty sure they they'll give you you ain't gonna get paid chicken feed. I'm sure no, they've they've really branched out with golf shoes and stuff now. Yeah, so. right. Yeah, they're in NASCAR now. They're it's crazy. Yeah. Um, I would I would go with a hockey company. I know that's shocking to everybody, but uh, my favorite brand of hockey gear is Bauer. Well, you'd be um, playing hockey, so right. Exactly. That makes sense. Yeah. Exactly. So, and they have uh, they have great like uh, like apparel as well. Like their clothing line is amazing. They've done stuff with like uh, Spit and Chicklets podcast and stuff like that, and uh, a couple other like major brands. So, uh, I would definitely pick them hands down, and free goalie gear. So, all right, Kenny, you pick one here, and we'll. Uh, Kenny's got to go to work, of course. So we'll uh, we'll bang one out here real yeah, quick for you. Man. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's your ideal workout? A walkout wrestling or a walkout baseball music? Oh, I like this question. I like this question. Um, I do the, uh, walk up music for my kids baseball team. <laughs> and it's so funny to hear the kids like come up with their stuff. Um, I would pick, you know what I would pick? I would pick X going to give it to you by DMX. Oh, that's a good one. That's what Xander Bogart uses. And I'm like, that's perfect because his name is begins with an X. Right. Um, but yeah. I think it's just a great, like, I'm, I'm about to give it to you. I'm about to give it to you. Mm-hmm. Do you play that at, before you go into the bedroom at night? <laughs> <laughs> Tom's going to give it to you. He's going to give it to you. Yeah. I sing it to my hand. <laughs> It's a thirty-second long song. There you go, dude. I went. I went to a uh, not to get. I know Kenny's got to go. Like when I played soccer in high school, we mm-hmm. we senior year they finally let us do warm-up music. Uh, mm-hmm. And I went to a school where I'm pretty sure there everyone was white. There might have been one black kid in the school because it was a Catholic private school. Like, mm-hmm. uh, and we had warm-up music, and somebody made it, and it had DMX on it. And I think like Rough Riders anthem and stuff, and uh, somebody didn't edit it and it didn't go over well Uh-oh. playing before a soccer game. <laughs> no. them, them Catholic no. parents were not happy, so uh, needless to say, there was no warm up music. There were the rest of the, that was the first and last. Oh, I'll, yeah. tell, I'll tell, I'll let everybody answer and then I'll tell a similar story about that in just a second. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, here I'll go. Uh, warm up music, man. There's a couple like, walk out. yeah, you I can do out. like, I can do white stripes, like Icky Thump or Seven yeah. Nation Army. Uh, man, I like I like my my morning jacket. One big holiday takes a little while to get that song going, but the beat's mm-hmm. really good. So it'd probably be one of those. Those are some good choices. What about you, uh, uh, Phil? I'm going to go with uh, 
Do You Want to Taste It by Wigwam from uh, yeah. John Cena's show. <laughs> yes. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> and it's funny, but it's also out, like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good, good beat to it, you know. Yeah. That you is great. Up when you come out, too. Yeah. All right. DJ? Ah, uh, let's see. I'd probably, I got a few. Like, so probably uh, Burn by Militia. Mm-hmm. Um, that is the song that the Wolf Pack got their song from. Um, pretty well, good, the Wolf Pack WCW song still holds up, so. right? Yeah. Right, and I'm telling you, listen to this song, it's, exa- that. it's exactly that song that oh, they just changed a couple of downbeats here and there, but it's the exact same track. Yeah. Um, uh, good old Jimmy Hart. Um, let's see, I'd probably do some like this song, uh, Fuck the World by Tupac. Is a is another good one. Nice and pretty, and then like the Dre two thousand two thousand one album. You can pretty much play any song, and <laughs> it'll be a good walkout song. I use a lot of the instrumental version of that album for my uh, trivia hosting as a back, like a backbeat. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's no dead air. Uh, what about you, Kenny? It was your uh, your pick? What do you got? Uh, what is the? Uh, I don't I don't know the name of it. Who let the, the dogs uh, out? The, uh, right. <laughs> um, was the the uh, the one that Hogan used when he was with uh, NWO? Oh, Voodoo Child. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Uh, I, I would use that. Nice. Like, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like a- Phil. Phil should have hate me now from Nas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just have him it- scream while he's going out there. Opening night for the Patriots after the Deflate Gate bullshit. Uh, right, Tom Brady it. came running out and uh, they played that. And I was like, I my boner was so big. And hard. <laughs> Tom Brady doesn't if, know two listen, notes of that song. If he could, if, if Tom could have <laughs> ran on the field, like Mr. Brady, Mr. Brady here. How do you know I didn't? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Kenny, we'll let you go, man. Thank you for joining right, us, guys. guys. Check out the call up podcast. Uh, and he's always live streaming. During rest, during raw, during yeah, Monday, AEW. Monday, Wednesdays, and sometimes on Fridays. We took Anything him away from raw tonight. Day. Yeah, we did. <laughs> um, it's usually any day that ends in Y. And I'm actually sad that your kids didn't appear in the background there. Oh, no, uh, no so they're nice. in their room right now. And I have every time they were in the in the living room or in, in the kitchen area, he, uh, I'm he muted. Did. So I was <laughs> I was muted the whole entire time. <laughs> Can can he hit him up with some BC before? Uh, oh no no the no! Show started. Oh so no so before I before I go right because speaking of VC, so I have a bet <laughs> with my son where I said if Golden State does not win mm-hmm. the the NBA championship, he has to shave his head, like goes <laughs> completely bald, like like myself. He has to go, and he has a nice head of hair on him, right? Right. No. But if he wins, I will give him a hundred dollars of VCs to let him do whatever Ooh. he wants. So every night, every since the playoffs happened, I've Ghost. seen this kid cry multiple times when oh, Golden no. State will lose. <laughs> at one point, he at one point I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna catch a heart attack because they were they were losing, and I think it's like they had to go to like you know like a do or die game. He was like, oh, I don't want to shave my head. I don't. <laughs> go and he's like his his brothers in the background just laughing like you should have just never made that bet. Oh my god, oh, that's, that's amazing. That, that, is, that is what's going on in my house right now. You definitely, guys, you definitely have graduate, to, to live stream that if you shave the kid's head because I think it'd be uh, I mean I don't I don't plan on doing it because my wife already told me not to. It's a kid that's <laughs> yeah. gonna grow back in like uh, listen, I'm not four you, weeks. okay. You upset an angry Puerto Rican woman. There's no way in the <laughs> right. world that I'm I wouldn't yeah. I'll, I'm mm-hmm. I'm flying to Kentucky and staying over at your house. <laughs> why do you why do you think I picked white women for my hall pass? I don't get that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, why you see I picked, I picked the white woman for me too <laughs> mine's British there you go. <laughs> but uh let me let me cut out guys congratulations on a hundred and uh you know I will we'll all be back for uh for season two oh, of yeah. the uh of the running sounds and, good brother uh, and, I, and I'm out of you all right thanks brother all right man Later. Okay. Have you, stay man. safe out there all right, all right, Tom, what's the story? Oh, yeah, just to circle back. So, like I said, I do the music for my kids' Little League games. Um, and uh, so first time I ever did it, right, I'm playing the National Anthem, and my finger slipped. It went yeah, right yeah. into Rage Against the Machine. It was on parade. <laughs> but then last year, oh, where I, had to, I had to take a piss, so and it was in between innings. So I threw a song on, ran to the bathroom, 
I walk out of the bathroom and I have all these moms looking at me and I'm like, did I like piss on my shorts? Like, what did I do here? What happened? And I'm listening to the music and it's that song, uh, boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, way oh. <laughs> but I put it on and it said radio edit. So I was like, I'm good. Like, why, why is everybody looking at me? One of the moms starts yelling at me because it was like, I want to lick your booty up and down all this. Like it went into the actual like song oh my God, and no. I, was, I had no idea. It said radio edit. So I thought I it was even, safe. No, even the radio edit is girl, your booty is so round. Let me lick it up. And that's, that's yeah. even, they're not cussing. So it's the right. radio edit. I know that now. Yeah. I know that now. But uh, yeah, wow. that's, that's my story. But I still have the job, so <laughs> I still got the job. <laughs> I didn't get fired. So after either one of that those was your incidents. verbal warning. That's right. All right, let's pick one of these questions from the uh, Fig Cave Facebook group, and then we'll uh, wrap things up here. Uh, let's see. Let me go back here. Got to find the post. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Um, there are some good questions here. Uh, Oh, John James wants to know if Tom Sonny will be watching the Miz and Mrs. Uh, for causing the Miz to lose Dancing with the Stars. I will be watching uh, Dan- uh, Miz and Mrs. I find that show uh, uh, particularly uh, interesting. I, I enjoy it. It's good, clean fun. Uh, thoughts on Sa- Chela Sabu? Did you pre-order? Uh, I will not be re- pre-ordering because I am getting out of the game. What about you guys? What are, you, what are your thoughts on this uh, Chela Sabu? But the uh, the six inch one, the uh, yeah, the uncensored. I think it looks great. I, I hope they keep doing more f- folks in that size, which is what I collect loose. I, I'm not going to get the Sabu; it doesn't fit my collection. But I'm hoping they do some obscure, you know, '90s folks, and uh, I can start adding some of those. I think it's cool. They're they're going a bunch of different avenues with those figures, man. It's, it's cool to see. Yeah, if I was still collecting, I would probably grab Sabu. Um, and throw them with like Terry Funk and Rob Van Dam and those guys. But uh, I, I agree with you, man. I hope we're getting some. There's some guys that they've signed to that uh, to the retro line uh, mm-hmm. that I would love to see get a six inch figure and that I might snag like Haku. Um, Haku yeah. Some others coming down the line that uh, I'm not able to talk about that I would love to uh, to see get a uh, six inch figure. I think you guys would love. One, there's one in particular that. Uh, that uh i would love to see i would love mm-hmm. to see but okay oh i'm interested now it's not rick flair it's not <laughs> um is a macho man uh nope no nope. okay, okay. Yeah. all right um what about you uh dj you grabbing him sabu is he in your wheelhouse or? um because like you said it would go with rob but i really want my dynamite kid before ordering yeah. another figure with these folks <laughs> like i had the six I, I pre-ordered the six inch uh uh dynamite kid to go with that davy boy smith that came out a couple couple like like that i got when i went to visit yeah um so yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna hold off all right what about mike what about you no i think it's a cool figure but i obviously don't collect uh elites or that kind of scale really so i'll mm. probably buy the macho man uh crushing figure when it comes out mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. i don't the savvy looks good i just that and the dynamite stuff just aren't that's not stuff i really collect so mm-hmm. i hear you um the, the they're selling good they're uh they're selling good though so that's, that's a, a good of, sign yeah uh there was a lot of chatter for it when it went up for pre-order so good on on well that ecw Facebook figure collections though. and everybody to get yeah i mean you just haven't had a good sabu in a long time like i'm gonna get the the uh retro and stuff when it comes out or zombie mm-hmm. or whatever so uh yeah that's that's a question uh <laughs> by the time we do the next run-in <laughs> will we have zombie series one? Oh, my God. Good question oh that is a great question we're, we're hit is today the one year i haven't looked at time it was june right it was we, this week, I think. It was pretty. It had to be pretty damn close. I want to say for some reason it was June eighth. I don't know why that date is sticking out in my head, mm-hmm. but I, I feel you. like I that was right. the it date. Because I, I know it was very close to my birthday. Right. That's right. I'm old as fuck, guys. 
<laughs> Not as old as DJ, but uh... I like that a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, like June eighth, yeah, June eighth, June ninth, somewhere in there. So damn, we're pretty close. Wow. That's I mean, I I'd, I'd, I'd assume by the end of this month they'll ship. So end of July. It's 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 a stretch. How about when do you, uh, when do you guys expect the uh, the Mattel? Man, it Rings. sounds like it's coming sooner than people thought, but I don't. That could just be blowing smoke. Like I thought it was going to be August. I know Phil thought earlier in the year, just because of like bad wording. But I saw something where where Steve was in like a like a Reddit or some kind of ask me anything Q and A type thing, and made it sound like it was going to be out fairly soon. Like that. Yeah, the next month or so. Hopefully, that'd be so, awesome. I just they'll have to the way they'll have to pack all those, especially if you have to break up the ones that have the macho, the ones that don't. I mean, I know it was very few, but it's gonna be a big box. And then uh, I think yeah, the, I think the box. internet's gonna be flooded with with extra rings because yeah. some people just wanted two of the figures, and now they're gonna sell the rings. So yeah, I'm trying to get rid of mine, but I don't think it's gonna sell. You know, I don't think it's gonna be. I mean, you're gonna make your money on the figures. It's like you'll be able to get hundred, two hundred dollars probably for some of those figures. You may have to hold out a little while because it'll be flooded at first, right? With mm-hmm. like doinks and stuff like that. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah sure. <laughs> all right. So, and you guys are going to be gone, and I don't know. I know Phil will do a a, a recap show, but what do we think Comic Con exclusives going to be this year? Man, I would, love, I would love a Mike Tyson. Tyson's I saw somebody put yeah. earlier. Tyson's what I was thinking, but I don't yeah. know. I would love that. What That's is general. Mike? His, his likeness or that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, that would who be owns perfect. what? I mean, he's got a fun co-pop, so obviously he's not sure. against trademarking. He's doing a lot of signings Roots and appearances of, and stuff, so it's not yeah. It's like the fight, you got against. t-shirts and everything, right? Ooh. It's gonna be somebody like Pop Culture, as so he fits that bill for sure. Oh yeah, Bad Bunny, Logan Paul, somebody else said in the group. Um, oh, yeah. you think cool. you do you think it's going to be a pop culture type thing? I mean, we had. I, think, I mean, I think. I mean, you had Mr. T, which was kind of pop culture. Even Macho Man, as the Slim Jim, I guess is kind of pop culture, right? Yeah, right. it's like someone who kind of like isn't super niche to wrestling. It's more like a, not not like a Gronk or something, but I could you know I could have seen them doing something like him or Bridge. I, don't See, know. I just I, I mean as as well as. Macho and Mr. T and stuff like that. So, would a Bad Bunny do as well, or would people only grab it because it's a Comic Con thing? What about Hogan dressed up in the pirate outfit from WrestleMania last year <laughs> <laughs> with Titus <laughs> or as, as Rip? Was, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'm surprised you don't have the Zeus Rip two pack. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Um, I don't know. So what... Yeah, you got Bad Bunny. You got the. You can go fridge. Um, you can go. Lawrence Taylor. Oh, that'd be a good one. That's such yeah. a weird WrestleMania. Right. I just bought a bootleg shirt oh, though. Man. Man. Technically Lawrence made Taylor, a yeah. WrestleMania. I say, <laughs> dead, so. That would be cool. I'd have to buy I, that. I'd go with the two pack with him and, and Bam Bam. He was yeah, at can... he was at that like card show autograph thing I went to last fall. Yep. And if I had thought about it, like when I saw his name, because like, oh, it's cool. I would have like taken that WrestleMania magazine, obviously, you can't get mm, Bam Bam yeah. signature, but LT would be cool to have. Yeah, right. Because really cool. if you would have thought of which one would have died first, you probably would have gone with LT. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Between it's cocaine true. and CTE. <laughs> it's true. Um, all right. Let's do one more uh, question here. All right. And uh, I got to find it. I keep losing it. <laughs> what, what oh, question? Phil, this what is one pretty... <laughs> This is uh yeah we're just kind of running down the list here Phil this is one for you favorite high noon flavor oh I saw that yeah oh it's tough man <laughs> it feels like I like them all buy them all <laughs> yes definitely buy them all I I'm, I'm been partial to lime man lime and peach it's a neck and neck I like the I like the guava and the kiwi those are the new ones but I'm gonna I'll stick with peach. I saw the tall boys for the first time. Oh man! Uh, today, this weekend, I'm actually. This is a very iron ironic statement that uh, I I stopped drinking, and but yet for my hockey team, I'm the guy that buys the beer for everybody. <laughs> so like in a, in a package store once a week or a liquor store once a week. Um. So uh, yeah, I saw them at the at the counter. They had them in like a little high noon like Red Bull fridge, 
Um, wow. nice. I don't, don't uh, want to get off subject of high noons, but I decided to do this show instead of watching hockey. And when I left, it was three to one. Yeah. Have you, I don't have a TV in this room, so I just looked down at my phone. Anyways. Avalanche won. In overtime. In oh, OT 6-5. Wow. That's crazy. Damn. Series is over. That's a sweep. They get to yep. go rest up a little bit. All right. Anyways, back to <laughs> high noon. My favorite is uh, chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> when I was drinking, I loved the pineapple and I loved the peach. What, what, sells, go peach. what sells better, Phil? Like the, the multi-packs or the, the individual flavors? Definitely the, the multi-packs now. Just because people will buy them. It's just easier to sell because people want like you know more than four. It's a better deal for people. They get multiple flavors. You know, well, as, they, so. as they add new flavors, are they adding that into the pack or are they dropping something out? Because then you're gonna have people. It's just like fuck, like Skittles and Starburst, where people are like, "Oh, you took lime away," and then they're shit. Well, we have three different different uh, variety packs. So yeah, okay. well, yeah, that's oh. how they, and that's how they introduce new flavors before they go into the four pack. So run it, run it. As if, a you're, if you're going to a party or something, you're not going to buy it. like that's if you're drinking at home. You just want peach. Sure, you just buy the peach for yourself. But you're going to somebody's right. house. You buy you buy the variety pack. Those right. tall boys are cool. <laughs> so, yeah, the high, tall boys are cool. Uh, one of the guys that play hockey with actually his girlfriend brought one to our game uh last night and uh she actually she brought two and uh, okay. they're fucking huge man I, yeah i guess by law they have to make them resealable because it's vodka and not and not like uh right uh, oh. not a beer so so i mean i guess they did that because they had to to come out with it so it's it nice i don't know out. what what weird laws kentucky still has about that stuff because you don't see high noon around here very much hmm. yeah but i, I mean, can go i can go 20 store, minutes right? to indiana and it's it's in target here oh, even wow. if i go to the liquor store they may or mike, may not have it mike wow. how far are you from indianapolis uh three hours and oh. it's an and it's an hour time change oh i'm right. on central indianapolis is on whatever god's time y'all want to call it uh, <laughs> oh all right well i'll be out that way this weekend i, I know don't forget. Don't yeah, because you got time. I'm did gonna your, try to make your, time. Did your tux ever come in from China? Oh Jesus! I haven't oh. updated you guys on this. I, no. You mentioned it last time, and Kenny was talking about a wedding, and I, I thought maybe it, there was a story. And oh yeah, there's there's a lot of stories. <laughs> are y'all wearing are y'all wearing shorts and and dress shirts? So my whole Polos. thing as best man for this wedding has been, bro, just go with men's warehouse because. All the groomsmen are all over the country and like all you have to do is walk into a men's warehouse, give them like a number and they'll get you everything and they'll get you all measured up and you're good to go. And then you can pick it up in Indianapolis. Uh, he didn't listen to me. So the first suit I ordered was I was a guinea pig for a suit off of Amazon for $70. Might have talked about that on the show. Didn't fit. Sent it back. Uh, they were gave me a hard time about getting my money back and everything. Uh, finally got my money back. And then he had all of us order from men's tuxedo USA.com. Uh, you can imagine how that went. We all start texting each other uh, about uh, how our suits are different colors, like different, like we all ordered from the same link, same website, same color option in the, like on the website, but we all got different brands and different shades of Brown for the suits. So uh, last week he told us now we're going with men's warehouse. Oh my god! So, now yeah. we're <laughs> now we're going with men's warehouse. Yep. So uh, this should be interesting, man. This is such a clusterfuck. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll send you guys our group chat. I'll I'll put maybe I'll put it in the Patreon of the pants I got from this suit company because like you go get measured. Uh, you know, men's warehouse will actually measure you even though you're not buying a suit from them probably because they know you're coming back eventually right. um and uh so i put my measurements into the website and the pants they sent me it looks like i have them on and it looks like i'm wearing fucking flippers like that's how long the pants are oh jeez. and my buddy's response was oh it looks like you're gonna get, need to get them hemmed like, <laughs> yeah if i got them hemmed i'd have a whole extra pair of pants <laughs> <laughs> That's how fucking long they were is insane. Oh, God. Is, this, is, this, is this wedding outdoor or indoor? I have no idea. Oh, wow. <laughs> I should know, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's, a big, that's a big question because that'll, that'll change the 
and the and the wife's Word. going right is the what's the no kid it's just wife? it's just me going by myself just you. yeah oh, it's true it's, we're going to disney in november so it's too expensive she doesn't really want to go uh um, well, it's indianapolis there ain't much to do right exactly so uh it was and he's got baseball playoffs this weekend so it was more like let's just uh let's just uh send me so <laughs> yeah like lucky me i mean yeah, the I mean, representation outside of, outside of uh figure collections uh what else there to do in indianapolis you can go try that big van vader pizza <laughs> that's uh, right the pacers to- definitely don't play this time of year we're gonna do top golf Oh, yeah, that's in uh, Fisher's. Fisher. Yeah, yep. it's like 20, 25 minutes. It's not that far. That's actually where he lives. It's right, so. next, to the, it's right next to the Ikea. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah. Detolf. Uh, I'm actually, I need a Rootsta and uh, a Rudsta. And uh, the one in New Haven here doesn't have any. Uh, man, I went, we drove past the the Ikea going through Cincinnati. And I looked up on their website to see if they had any. And it was like out of stock, not Plan to be restocked for like, oh, for like five weeks yeah, or something. Of course not. So yeah, like, mine says the closest weeks. one here is like that one in Fisher is three hours. Cincinnati's three hours. St. Louis is almost three hours. Like there's just not one really close to me. So it's kind of like Kyle Peterson. You got to make a whole day of it because it's yeah. three hours one way, three hours back, plus shopping and loading and right in the ass. Meatballs. Which is why I don't have any. Um. Yeah, my wife actually tried to get me to go there this weekend. I was like, no, I'm not going. They don't have what I want. So I did sign up for an alert like for them to let me know when it's in stock so I can go get it. Or Nicky Choke might get it for me because he said he drives past there almost every day. Oh, there uh, we go. But, a, uh, that was a good uh, – not, not to continue the show. Uh, Nicky no, Choke, no Phil, was a, uh, a good listen. I, I love me some Nicky Choke. So. Oh, I love him too, man. He's a wealth of knowledge. He's a great, great – Guest co-host to come yeah, on. Really I'm really surprised he Mike, doesn't. But, uh, you know. Really surprised he doesn't do more uh, podcasts with people, or maybe he does and he just doesn't tell anybody. <laughs> no. there, there's a lot of wrestling podcasts out there that we don't have time to listen to, so never know where that where that man may have uh, been. That's true. That's true. Did he um, go? Did he go to the live show in New York? I know Kenny I, didn't go. I don't know. He's. A, I saw. A, I saw a picture, and it was Instagram wasn't working. I meant to send it to you guys, where there was like fifteen people on stage, and I was like, "Tell me, that's all that showed up to the show in New York." <laughs> it had to have just been the people who stayed the whole time, like after the meet and greet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. there's no way that they had that few people? Because like Baltimore, there was a good what hundred people probably. Yeah, but this was more like a. It wasn't like a show. It was just kind of like a hangout at the bar. Oh, was it? Was no autographs that. or anything oh, no, like that, I was right? Know that. I thought yeah. it was another one of the like live show. Like no, no, it was just like a like major, a, a major happy hour together. Oh, happy gotcha. hour, yeah, yeah. Just because Brian lives there and it's and, yeah, and Matt's dad lives there, so yeah, I guess that makes sense. Hmm. All right. Uh, anything else you guys want to uh, chat about? There were some good, there were some good questions on the uh, on the uh, the Facebook thing, but some of them are actually like hard to answer. I wanted to answer, or I wanted to do this one. Uh, we talked about it before we went on the air. Where it, did it go? I keep losing my fucking spot. There we go. Um, Jeffrey Guyette, who is a, a great friend of the show, he uh, your your first episode was May of 2020. What was the worst pay per view during that time period to now? Which was the best? And I think we all kind of agreed it had to be something during the Thunderdome. Yeah, yeah. The, one of those Thunderdomes had to be the worst. Thunderdome shows, but yeah, it, probably one of those early ones when you just couldn't get into it before they really like jazzed it up. Yeah. Right, because yeah. they didn't even have crowd noise at first. Remember, like, yeah, AEW that WrestleMania was doing a little bit more <laughs> with theirs. So, yep. Uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, I mean, and even like. What I keep going back to is this bat past backlash because yeah. it just was not great. It wasn't that great. No. How about when, when the fiend got lit on fire? That was pretty bad. <laughs> oh my god, we got a figure out of that. We got a figure yeah. out of that. <laughs> a, 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 a possible figure of the year candidate. Like, that's a good figure. It is. It is really good looking. <laughs> that, that should have been your, you should have brought your mid year. Oh, I'm kidding. I would have, I would have turned into hours of. Because you'll have those figures at the end of the year that we'll forget all about. 
Oh um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like there's been some decent money in the banks. I would say I mean, that there was, there was there was an okay like AEW show in there. So I mean, it's just hard right. to think when you have that many shows over two years. Well, maybe even that like uh, somewhere in the top would be uh, that. The WrestleMania, not last year, but the year before, where like you know rained a little bit, and you had um, rain delay. <laughs> you're right, and then you had uh, Bianca. Um, I, I'm going to say Bianca's night. Um, I right. think because even like my daughter was emotional watching that match. So you know, so I, so that's got to be you know for to, for them to be able to bring emotion out like that, you have to give it some kind of props. He had, he had a follow up too. Uh, who will be the champions when you reach your 200th episode, and why is the answer Matt Riddle and Bailey? <laughs> uh-huh. I, like, I like the Bailey. I can't get behind the Matt Bailey, Riddle. Part, yeah, that but... you can't. Yeah, that might be. For, I enjoy for Matt Riddle, but I don't. Where is Bailey? I, I think she's ready to come back. I think they just don't have the proper. They were they probably were. hoping to have Sasha there, and maybe you're just kind of waiting for that, <laughs> yeah. so that you don't have to just kind of throw her out there for. No reason, yeah. Because now it sounds like they're putting um, uh, fuck, what's her name? The army, Lacey oh, Evans. So Lacey Evans. Yeah. yeah. At first they said she was raw. Now they're saying SmackDown. So seems like they're almost trying to fill some roster spots there in case they don't mm-hmm. get they Bailey or uh, yeah. or uh, Uso wife back. So <laughs> Uso wife. Yeah, she's worthless. I don't. She, she, <laughs> um, she can go. Uh, anybody finish Stranger Things? My kid did, did on the way to man. Baltimore. Uh, uh, I, heard, I heard that. I've got I've got the finale left, and I looked down. It was an hour and forty minutes. I was like, eh, maybe I'll right. do that before bed or tomorrow. Really or good, man. Really. I got. I want to. So I want to sit down and watch it. My kid. We went to Delaware for a baseball tournament, and he watched the whole thing on the ride down. Yeah, when you're driving, you need something to do. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. You finish. You finish Ozark, right? Uh, no, oh. I finished the first part. So good. Um, I've tried it three times and keep falling asleep. I don't know. I just the story. It's been too long since the last season. I just don't really care for some reason. And I like yeah. that show. It's a good show. Mm-hmm. Uh, anybody now see the, Top Top Gun? I I no. I want to see the boys. The boys is back now. That's a great show. If you don't yeah. like that, I got to catch yeah, up on that. Yep. Oh. Top Gun. Yeah. I haven't seen yet. I tried to go and then something fell through. So maybe DJ, you saw it, right? I saw it. I won't give away anything, but uh, no, I, it? it's a it's a very good movie. Did um, you see it in like a forty x theater or normal theater? Uh, it was a normal theater. Okay. But, I yeah, I but feel it, like you were but talking we about had the sound. Like you know, it still had the sound and the jets. It had sound? And oh man! <laughs> like, you know, the, <laughs> it's got, it's got, got jets in my ear. Down, you know? No tired yeah. of the silent movie era. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make me shove one of those. Suit guys up your ass. <laughs> oh, Don't tell me. You, you could be my uh, hall pass. <laughs> I think that's I think that's it on TV because I don't watch anything on Disney Plus. I want to watch the Chip and Dale oh, that was good. <laughs> remake because I don't because I don't care about Star Wars or Marvel or any of that. So yeah, you, I, I knew you didn't care about Star Wars, but you don't I, care about Marvel. I don't not care about Marvel. I just there's so much Marvel of it. Shows. I just never. Well, like even the movies, like I don't rush out to watch them. Like I watch Spider Man, but like, and it was in. I think Phil made the post where he was like, "Who hasn't seen Goodfellas?" And people were like, "I've never seen Goodfellas," or "I've never seen The Godfather," and all these movies. And I was like, "I haven't seen a Marvel movie since Age of Ultron." Damn, um, that was oh. a while. But that yeah, one was so bad, cool. I didn't care. And I watched the first yeah. Captain America and the first Thor and didn't care for those. Everybody's like, they get better. I was like, that's what they said about Harry Potter and Star Wars. That's why I haven't watched them. Well, there's a new Marvel show coming out. It's called Miss Marvel. It's very creative. And it's, it's a girl. It's a girl. It's different from all the other Marvel shows they've had. Um, because it has a... a it's when I saw a, the trailer for this, I was like, I'll feel as well. Everything they do now. It's just, you can't. we can't just do a normal superhero show it has to be a dog or you know it's... <laughs> guys this is what we listen to or read every day in our group chat 
Yeah, you're, um, getting, you're getting our group we chat have, right we here. Have a cap, we have a captain. What's the girl from the Marvel movie? Is that Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel. Yeah. Man, they really... Miss Marvel is different, though. Was, but was Stan, Lee, Stan Lee, they couldn't come up with like real names for like two people. They had to use the the name of the company in the in the <laughs> name of the of the character. Like they wanted to show you how important she was to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, is this is this one it, important in the comic story. books? She's not the first Marvel. Captain Marvel. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Not even the first one, Phil. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be watching. That's for sure. Yeah, I'll be watching. <laughs> oh, the Star Hulk Wars and... shows. The Star Wars shows have been good. Yeah, I Obi. haven't jumped into Obi yet, but uh, my no. kid is loving it. My kid watches way more TV than I do. He's. I should have him on to talk about his theories and stuff like that. We're trying to pack for Delaware, and it was the day that he that Stranger Things came out, and he's like yelling at the TV while we're, we're trying to be out of the house by nine o'clock so we don't hit traffic. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. And he's like yelling at the TV. He's like, no, I can't watch. I can't do this. Uh. I'm like, dude, just pack your fucking bag. Let's go. He watches in the car. <laughs> Finished one episode before we even got in the car. I'm like, dude. Gosh. But, um, but uh, I, yeah, I need to. I, I have a four hour layover in Austin, Texas coming Man. up. So oh, um, I'm going to be watching lots of things. You really should just spend all week seeing if something pops up for Chicago and just not get on the the plane for I, the I have I looked today like I said man I looked today for a rental car and nothing popped up I'm going to keep trying but there's got to be so that's crazy I know that that's became a big thing like like a lot of airports don't have <laughs> rental cars on properties anymore it's oh nuts this picture of Matt Cardona with this fat guy. Dude, yeah, so, yeah. So good. His face is so amazing. I don't know if he did this on purpose, but uh, oh he had to God. know because him and Chelsea both have just a perfect reaction. She, yeah, she's like, "Why are you taking my picture? Why are you disgusted at a GCW show?" That's this is why. <laughs> and there's a GCW show happening here. I think the I think it's around the Fourth of July, and it's like 45 minutes away. I was like, kind of want to go, but. It seems like right now the only imp important person that's going to be there might be Janela, so and Nick Gage, but I don't know that I want to pay uh, money to watch them bleed all over the ring and get get pieces of light fixtures. Well, in your eye. the so the place they're having it um, is like this historic. It's called the Coliseum, and if you go back, like people like Jerry Lawler and Andre the Giant, like all these big names wrestled there, and they still use it for all these like small town indie shows. Uh, I saw JCW there one time. I watched it was Jake Roberts and Scott Hall, and it was a clusterfuck. Um, <laughs> it was bad because they were both uh oh out of their minds. And I like, say Libri half, half of ICP was in the match because the other ones like a family emergency happened. Anyways, they have like a, a the regular seating, and then there's like a upstairs type balcony area. That's where I'll be sitting, as far away from. Uh, shards of glass and light right. tubes and Good. Yeah. exactly if, if, if it's a possibility and i go that's where i'll prefer to see <laughs> that's exactly where i'd be <laughs> dude i went to that one before wrestlemania no all out in chicago a couple years ago and i had never been to gcw show and i walk in and this is before covid and everyone has their n95 mask and i'm like what the fuck is going on mm -hmm. and then people are like oh you don't want to breathe in the stuff that comes out of, the, out of those fluorescent the lights i'm like yeah. where's my mask oh you had to bring your own cool i'm gonna stand back here yeah <laughs> i'll watch I, from a distance we'll you never want, you don't want mercury poisoning uh, a, a fucking guy in a, it was like a six-man ladder match and this guy he slipped and his arm caught like a light tube and he was like, he almost bled oh, out in the ring. Oh, they had to like wrap his arm in towels and rush him to the hospital. Ugh. He didn't even finish the match. Like what happened, that's what happened to Nick Gage in, in, the, yeah. in that dark Same side of the ring. Yeah. yeah, It was weird. We only went because it was like Orange Cassidy, Gangrel, Jerry Lawler were all on the card. Fuck, I didn't know what I was getting into. <laughs> <laughs> say never again but i'll go watch it if it's that close and i don't have to be that yeah. close to the action i'll never go to a gcw show i don't think it's too no. uh too much for me too much are for you, me are you going to blitzkrieg when uh summer rays there still 
Yeah, j- uh, June 24th. As long as I keep saying it with the caveat of that kids my the kids' baseball schedule. So right. we are entering All-Stars season, which is six to seven days a week of practice. Damn. And then and then games. So uh, it, it depends on how far they go. Uh, practices starts next. Practices start next week. So uh, I just kind of have to wait and see. But six I, to seven days feel, feels like Nash just goes to games. They don't even have practice. <laughs> uh, just got five makeup games. The game. The season was supposed to be over on Saturday. They had five yeah. makeup games from rain. And now he's had two games with like four strikeouts each game. I don't know what his deal is. I, I like. I don't want to like pressure him he's like not like he doesn't like cry or like complain when he strikes out but it just like can't i don't know like if he just his his timing is off or something but because he, he was doing really well the first like six or seven games but shit, i, I guess to, i can't like put too much pressure he's a you know first grade shit. i went shit. to my, I went to my niece's uh like championship well second to last soccer game and it's like they're like u10 or u12 or something it's pretty young kids and like half the team wasn't there because it was a makeup game, but because school is out, all these kids went on summer trips. Yeah, they're like yeah. they're like fuck our recreational soccer. Like, yeah, <laughs> it, it's you pay like forty dollars to play the whole exactly. league and you get a trophy. It's not like hundreds right. <laughs> and thousands of dollars like travel teams and select teams and stuff like that. So these kids are like fuck it, I'm going to Florida. I don't care exactly. about your soccer. <laughs> if we win, let me get my trophy though. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you guys buy anything? Oh, actually, I got a couple of things in the mail. You're buying? <laughs> I thought you were. I, well, yeah. And Are we still recording? Is this still the podcast? Yeah, we're still recording. Yeah, we're still not? Shit here, <laughs> man. So I was like, like maybe we got to go to. We got to get people their money's worth. They're not getting a show for a while. Yeah. We'll wait. So. In the if mail. We go, if we go long enough. Oh, look at that. Oh. From Mike uh, to Tom, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, signed, cut in half, two by four. That is My sick. wife was like, "Why do you did you get a piece of wood in the mail?" <laughs> look you at the other understand. side of it. I go look at the other side of it. She you goes, really sh- you shouldn't have shown her. You should have just put it up in your room with the uh, blank side. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. It's repurposed. That's what Home Depot. Them. They're sending me one piece every week for the next uh, year. I'm gonna build something. <laughs> Shit, for as much as, as wood was costing for the last two years, I'm surprised. Yeah. I they had got- full. They had full size two by fours at that signing. Like people were buying them. I have too much to ship, probably. But yeah, I did get some uh, some bros in the mail. Do, 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 do. This is all I'm keeping. Well, not all I'm keeping in my collection, but uh, all I'm adding to my collection, I think, right now is Hasbro's. So I got Macho, uh, the shirtless DiBiase, and nails uh, in the mail this nails. week. Let, let's so. let's see the back of that nails. Oh. <laughs> No. I'm not fucking around, buddy. How about how about the front on the chest? Is the numbers there? Mine yeah, are a they're... little worn off. I don't know so how good you guys can see it in the camera, but yeah. they're there. They're there. How about okay on the savage? The oh yeah on the chest, all there. Yep. Good. That's that's right. a thing. People, I didn't realize it when I first was rebound them all. People were like, "Yeah, I'm missing like half the wording." Because I know when Phil was on uh uh with Al and Kevin uh. He was talking about his figures, and and somebody right. asked about Ludwig Borga or, or Doink and missing fingers. And feels like I don't fuck around. Yeah, all about, <laughs> I gotta have I had all that, my I had that at first. I upgraded all those. Yeah. I'm gonna pay 150 dollars for a single figure. That's yeah. what I, with this Macho Man, I was like, he's got all his fingers, right? That was like my main concern. I didn't even think about the print on the on the. Uh, yeah, I don't either. As long the as they're jacket. not sun faded and beat up, but yeah, it's there's little things like that that. I didn't fucking know until I started rebound them because this yeah. kids yep. beat the shit out of those figures. Oh, for the ones right. I had. <laughs> you oh, checking yours, Phil? Right knock now? them all over. Knock oh, yeah. them all over. Check them on too. Yeah. <laughs> checking that that Hasbro Macho. He looks pretty good. So I you got have uh... that, you have that Hasbro Macho there. Is he? Do you have two? Is he in the other display too? Tom and Tom. No, you. No, I, no, I can't do both, man. They're That's separate. You took, so him out of the, you took him out of your complete Hasbro. No, yeah, I go back and forth I'm how I want to shit. display them. Yeah. I do the same thing with my flares. There's random ones mixed back there with retros and shit because I ran out of room. So yeah, now they're just wherever they fit. I do the same thing with my flares. Like my flare retro is in my flare shelf. It's not with my retros. And yeah. same thing with my Hasbro. It's in it's in the flare case, not the 
the Hasbro case. Oh, there you go. So, See? so, so you also probably won't have a show by then. By the time you record the next time, will Ric Flair still be alive? Because he might die oh in this gosh. match. Are you that going? They, that they still okay? So, <laughs> where's where's Starcast? Is that in Indianapolis? It's a, it's in Nashville, so Nashville. it's only two hours. Um, I looked at tickets when they popped up, and they weren't bad priced. It was like if you didn't want to sit in the first like three rows, because it's going to be in like like a small little high school gym. It's not What's he wrestling. They, they haven't said yet. It's it's oh. a six man tag. That's all they've said. Uh, it sounds like it's gonna be be him and FTR against Rock and Roll Express and someone else. Hmm. Oh, okay. The rumor was it was like Rock and Roll Express's son, one of them, Robert Gibson, maybe Ricky Morton, one of them's kid. Then there was a rumor that it was Hulk Hogan. I think that got shot down. And then it was Ricky Steamboat that got shot down. So. It's not a one-on-one match, so he'll get carried through it. But I'm just like, man, if this guy takes a bad bump or scary, the, man. you have to have more matches on that card because they're they're putting it on Fight TV. It's not free, right. so you have to have like a full card. I'm sure it'll be AW slash NWA people probably, right? To fill to fill a show, but I mean, it's not affiliated with those, even though. The, <clears throat> for like the actual like Starcast meet and greet stuff, that's mainly who they're gonna have there. It's like legends that show up at every convention, Comic Con, and then looks like NWA, AEW, and they. I think they said there's gonna be like a hundred people there. They've only announced like twenty five, so hmm. still a lot of people to be. It'll be people you've never heard of too. So, right. I'm, I'm looking like, at the merch on the page. Like Ric Flair's merch, some of it is terrible. Um, like. $35 I mean, for flip flops yeah. for his last match. It's, it's like stuff you would buy on like Etsy or, or yeah. one of those like cheap pages, but like the rope would be cool, I guess, but it's, that's too much. <clears throat> the belt is from WWE shop or was, it's not available on there anymore, but it is that belt. And then, and then they're promoting that Ric Flair documentary coming to yeah like a, is it a W or a AMC, a and E, whatever, like, so I guess like Flair's Flair and WWE's relationship is kind of settled a little bit. I know they're not going to put him on TV, but at least they're not like money him. Yeah. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Because you, be. you got you got all that, <laughs> that content coming next month. Look at this great shirt, though. Like this is on that website on the Starcast merch page. Well, Shivani, like Shivani's doing meet and greets. Uh, Shivani, dude, uh, I total. Uh, I'll probably meet Shivani, but some of that stuff just looks. Even that one's pretty good. Yeah. Like Rick, but but I, like they haven't announced like what he's charging for meet and greets. Some of these people are twenty to fifty dollars, but I can see Flair being like two hundred, three hundred. Oh, especially with it being like his last match and stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure, it's going to be outrageous. Well, and they're doing like the roast, like. But it sounds like they're going to let Flair talk shit about. People also, which I know some of those oh Comedy Central ones end like that, but right. Oh man, that shit's gonna be wild. I'd almost go to that before I'd go to the match, especially if he's had a few <laughs> by the time he gets to his turn to talk. Yeah. I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think I think the I think the roast I believe is on Friday. Saturday is SummerSlam in Nashville, which is why they're having it there, and then Sunday will be the uh, last match. Hmm. So I need some advice from you guys. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Right. Oh boy. Should we we're stop st- recording? We're, we're still recording. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. So do you remember during the holidays, the guy who I met up with that I had all the toys for the uh the, the folks in Kentucky that were affected by the uh the yeah. hurricanes? Yeah. So he was yeah, you know, he, he was down here in the fig cave and told me he had met Bret Hart and blah blah blah. And you know, when he was playing in the CFL and one of his good buddies still knows him. And I was like, okay, whatever. And he's like, yeah, yeah, man, I'll get you some stuff signed, whatever. And then seven months have gone by. And mm. I'll, I'll message this guy like once a month, like, hey, man, you know, and he'll get back to me like a, a couple of days later, like, hey, I'm still trying to get in touch with my buddy. So, I, so just in the last couple of days, he messaged me the address to send the stuff to. And I just messaged him like an hour ago, like, is this, who's, he didn't put a name. I was like, whose name do I put on here? Do I put Bret Hart's name? He's like, yeah, just put Bret Hart's name on there. Just send me the tracking info. So, I mean, I guess you know, it's it's cool that he's like he didn't forget about me. Um, so, but do I buy the figures off of Ringside? 
have them shipped to my house, put a return label in there and a and a paint pen and send it there, or do I ship them directly from ringside? <laughs> ship directly from ringside. And maybe I can I can message John and just say, can you do you have a paint pen you can throw in there, or do you think Bret Hart has fucking paint pens? I'm sure he has them. I thought so. I remember when this came up, and somebody it could have been Dougie, it could have been somebody else. They acted like Brett like just took melons in general, like you could ship shit to an address or a PO box, and he would send sign them and send them back, but. That doesn't make a lot of sense because now he does so many cons and he's yeah, charging uh, I mean, forty, fifty dollars. Like, am I going to get back something that some like fucking Tom's kid signed or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you think I should just order it, send it directly there? I mean, which figure are you trying to get signed? The new Summer I'm just going to buy. Yeah, I'm just going to. I mean, now the new one is available on there, the right. uh, Elite 94, and I was going to do the either the Survivor Series or the WrestleMania Build a Figure one. Yeah, because I would hate to send something like. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to send finding moments, I'm, and then I'm, you don't I'm get not, them back. Or yeah, I'm not uh-uh. going to do that. It's no, too, it's it would be sick as hell signed, but I I can't risk do that in person. Yeah. I mean, you could fucking mail yeah. that to me, and I could get it signed, but yeah, I don't want to do that freaking. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, why is he? He's gonna be a star cast, yeah. Of course oh, he wow, is. no, so I don't know. I'm torn. Uh, yeah, I mean, it would be worth trying it for one. I mean, All right, try it I mean, if it works I, out. I'm in no rush, so I can do the ship free 60 thing if I get three figures, yeah, because it could be one of those things house. where he just spends a day signing a bunch of shit and it gets shipped back out. And maybe it's there's like a what do you want it like a mediator like a middleman that shows up takes them over there he signs them all they ship them all back out but yeah. there's got you would think outside unless that guy's getting them signed for you for free that there would be some kind of money yeah, involved like somewhere were good, the good buddies i mean he's yeah and maybe that's part of the tracking is hey when you get this package it's gonna say it's from yeah, yeah. phil gentile yeah I, I, that's mine i'm paying for that or or you owe me one or yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'll update you guys. Maybe the next time we do a when the running podcast comes back, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll do an up a Bret Hart update. Yeah. Then if I send it for myself, I can like put a little note in there, like you know, kiss his ass, tell him I was a huge fan when I was a kid. You know, blah blah blah. Yeah. There you go. Problem is, you pay to have it sent to you, then you got to pay to send it to him, then you got to send it back. And... Yeah, it's gonna add up. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm going to do three. I mean, do you think it's rude to do two or three of them? I mean, if the guy's signing one for me, I mean, how much more time does it take to sign fucking two more figures? Yeah, yeah I'd do it. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, and if it doesn't work out, what I'm out like fifty bucks. I mean, they're the one of them's on here for seventeen bucks. The other one's up here for seventeen bucks. So they're not like rare figures. They have that Fourth of July thing. sale. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might be a good time to do it. So all right, cool. All right, let's wrap this bad boy up. It's uh, show number 100. We're about to go. Uh, we went over 100 minutes. Uh, <laughs> so that will be, we that we will be passed the Zach, <laughs> the Zach time limit. That's right. Uh, we would have been even longer if Zach was here. But, uh, yeah, uh, so this is episode, obviously, number 100. Um, Blitzkrieg Pro, uh, Mike mentioned it, uh, September, uh, J- September, Jesus, June 24th. June. Uh, Old Country Deli in Enfield, Connecticut. The House of Pierogies. Check it out. Tickets are on sale now. Blitzkriegpro.net. Uh, I should be there. I'm hoping I'll be there. Uh, but stay tuned. And uh, guys, as we said, we are going on hiatus for a little while. We will be back after SummerSlam at some point. Uh, but we'll be popping up in your feeds and all over doing some some stuff here and there. We'll get more active on the Patreon now that we're stepping away here from the full-time deal. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, helping us get to episode 100. Don't forget we got that giveaway. Uh, four elite figures. I threw away my piece of paper that had – oh, no, here it is. Goldberg, T-Bar, Ray Mysterio, SummerSlam Elite, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. WrestleMania Elite, all uh, all you got to do is follow the call-up, follow the Fig Cave, follow us and Wrestling Collector Shop, and uh, we and retweet our, uh, our episode post, and you guys can get in on that giveaway. Uh, we'll announce the uh, we'll announce the winner on Twitter, and uh, yeah, thank you guys, uh, Mike and uh, Phil, for all you guys do for us Dude, uh, behind you, the scenes and uh, and being a part of our show. 
Um, and uh, thanks to everybody that we thanked in the beginning of the show. And uh, I think that's everything. Follow the Fig Cave. Listen to the Fig Cave. And uh, we will talk to you guys after SummerSlam. DJ, you got anything to say to the people? Man, I just, like, you know, this is uh, this has just been a journey, man, to like a hundred episodes you know so that's a like i said that's a heck of a first season um <laughs> so yeah be looking out for us so we are gonna do we're gonna put some content on the patreon we're gonna you know we're still gonna be wild and crazy guys all over all over your social media we're not going anywhere it's just the uh you know just a little break for the for the show and then we'll be right back you know um be watching out for us for wrestlemania i mean because you know wrestlemania is going to be in my hometown so um so definitely we want to see like let's see if we can get some see some people there in person yeah um so and yeah just stay with us stay with us we you know we we still gonna be right here with you all right, and that is episode number 100. Thanks again, Mike and Phil, and of course to Kenny, who had to cut out early to go protect the mean streets of New York City. Right. Uh, we appreciate the hell out of you guys for listening. Thank you guys so much. We'll be back soon. Good night.